All right, let's um, let's get back into it because um, last we left, we were in I think we were in Marland. We're in the Plague Town now. Yep, want to get in. So let's go see. Oh, uh, let's just go see what's going on in the uh, in the humble town of Marland, where they have a have a bit of issues. And also, this doesn't make sense because you just got here. But um, we're gonna go buy pork and potatoes, mostly because we have skits to do. <laughs> what are you doing? I'm fusing different types of equipment together. Oh, you mean the thing that's a royal pain and takes forever? By fusing equipment, you bring out its full potency and create something entirely new. Isn't it wonderful? Boy, I'll say. We Seraphim have plenty of time on our hands, so it's important to have hobbies. That's your hobby? It's always important to have hobbies. I mean, really. Wouldn't you just be bored out of your mind without anything to do? I play video games. I watch other people play video games. I just like video games. Okay, let's let's just calm down on that now. But, um, what's the cheapest thing? Pork and potatoes? We're gonna keep going. Lila, sit here for a second. What is it? Just take a seat. So, you have a lot of Norman acquaintances, but don't seem terribly interested in Norman. Well, I mean, we're just friends, is all. What the? Just sit down already. Lila, you're underestimating them. Remember, we need to catch 50 of them or else. You really like the Norman, don't you, Edna? You even got one on your umbrella. You kidding me? I totally don't like them. Now, why won't you sit down? The last time I sat down, it was to pull an all-nighter. That's bad for fair skin like mine, so good night. Hey, sit down. Just friends, that's all I heard. Someone getting friend zone? No? I don't remember wait, what what did you catch? I was talking about what did I talk about? I don't even know anymore. I do know that we did get a a skit with Edna. First one was about um, fusion, which unlocks fusion talent for her. But since this is a new game plus, I got it without actually doing anything. And the second one was about um, Normans, which haven't been introduced, so I'm kind of disappointed why that did it. What is this? Heard the characters say, just friends, that's all. Oh, I guess they're talking about the Norman, which haven't been introduced, but they will be soon. They're, um, they're kind of cute little animals, and they pretty much have a, a heavy hand in uh, doing with the equipment and equipment skills. Uh, is that it? Oh no, I got one more. Let's keep going. That braised beef and potatoes we just had was delicious and oh so flavorful. It was my first time trying it as well, but it was delicious. Really? It's your first time? Oh wait, right. I thought you always got to eat lavish food like this, Alicia. Like roasted rapig and fancy schmancy fruits, that sort of stuff. It's not like I eat like royalty every day, although I won't deny I am quite well fed. I'd never imagine that eating with friends like this could be so much fun. Happiness truly does lie within the nuances of everyday life, I suppose. Yeah, nothing like eating lots of good food with good friends. Definitely puts a smile on my face. <laughs> <laughs> uh, a full stomach sure makes you sleepy, though. Let's rest up for tomorrow. Shall we return to our rooms? Yeah, good thinking. Good night. Good night. Okay, well, Jarl, welcome to the game. This is Zestiria. Don't really know, you don't know anything about this, so let's give you a quick summary of what's happened so far. So, we have these five. Our main protagonist will be Saray. Saray is basically a goody two shoes of the, of the team. Um,. He lived secluded until Alicia here found him and his best friend Miklio and um, brought them out in to see the world, basically. Uh, the world is in turmoil. The world is pretty bad right now. 
and Saray just so happens to be, you know, like a prophesized hero of the people. So now he's on his journey to basically save parts of the world and explore and see the truth. Um, he's met Lila. He's met Edna. Edna, best, best girl. Second best girl. I think Alicia's still amazing. Um, but basically that's what it is. Right now we are in a town that is supposedly has a plague and we're trying to, you know, fix whatever problems they may have. Shepherd or Shepherd Saray is he basically has powers more than what most people can do. So that's there's that's a good summary of it, I think. We still gotta keep getting skits here. Tales of the Tales games are very heavy on skits and it uh, it fleshes out the story a bit more. Uh it shows a bit of friendship, uh some backstory on a couple of people. Uh, ha! You're working quite hard. Oh, Sorry for being so loud at this hour of the night. It's fine. If anything, I'm reassured. Honestly, I don't think I could beat you. I'd always imagined that princesses enjoyed things like dancing in ballrooms and eating sweets. But I guess I was wrong. Not necessarily. Most princesses are usually like that. But that's just not me. I usually bring up reforms and stuff like that even during those times. So I tend to get on people's bad side. I just want people to focus on the real issues in front of them. Alicia. Besides, this is just how I relieve stress, and I've become incredibly skilled with the lance as a result. Nonetheless, I must admit it wasn't the best idea to practice by myself in the middle of the night. Good night. In terms of her thoughtfulness and love for her country, she's truly an ideal princess. But... She seems like she's pushing herself pretty hard. Yeah, I'm a bit worried. Um, for me, I just got off work, y'all. Uh, you know, got off work, I thought about sleeping early, couldn't do it. So now I figure I might as well just play games all the way until tomorrow morning before work. All because of daylight savings time, and I don't want to be late for it. I don't want to be late for work because of it. Uh, did I get all the skits I have? Fusion, uh, the food... Okay, we're good. So now we can actually investigate what's happening in this uh, in this plague town. Let's see how bad it is for the people here. Hey mister, I think you've had enough. I'm sure your son wouldn't have wanted you to sink to this. What happened to his son? You look around and see healthy folks doing just fine. But then, there's people sicker than sick. What's causing this plague? He's never been able to hold his drink, and now, what's this count? What's this town coming to? Okay, first of all, that guy is just drunk. That's not a plague issue. This guy sounds like something's wrong with his son. Her, I don't, I don't know. Yeah, but it's more. I feel it. Like the way the story is going, it's more of a supernatural plague than a medical plague. But you know, Corona, right? I really like that song as a song, mostly because it reminds me of uh, reminds me of Initial D, which is just amazing. But can you let me out? Here, talk to me. Ah, so this is what an epidemic looks like. This is truly a scene out of nightmares. We must hurry to the sanctuary at once, because that's where we're gonna. Also, on our way here, we brought some medicine and hopefully it was gonna help some people this game must be must just be time travelers <laughs> I mean I've played this game before though um, they don't do time travel uh, don't quote me but they, there's some interesting concepts actually the biggest concept here is you don't know who's right or wrong it's your opinion of what the actual story is uh, when the going gets tough, doesn't matter. All right, what's going on with these people? All right, she's already slouch. Bad sign. The old guy over there has gone to a better place. 
I just wish Nafe had come back before it happened. Oh, someone died. What the? Yeah, I know, right? What's back here? Nothing back here. Oh, there's an item over there. Let's talk to these folks. Worrying about your skills, are you? Now listen to me. First of all, fill up that skill sheet of yours. That will teach you- Oh, okay, you know what? Uh, this is just tutorial stuff. Basically, they're telling you how to get stronger uh, equipments, basically. The secret to strong armor lies not in just the material it's made from, but in the way it's put together. My father, Milton, fashioned a suit of armor out of paper that could repel even arrows of steel. Okay, now, I know it's a, it's an armor of paper, but how thick is that paper? Uh, Rod of Turmoil? Okay, why does he have plus 10 firepower? He's the water guy. Some of these are really questionable. I'll take that one, though. Uh, sure, why not? Uh, no. It's on sale. I'll buy one. Nope. Let's see. Actually, I'll buy one that I don't own. There we go. Hey, what's up, Doc? How you doing? Why aren't you streaming? What's going on? In what circumstances is Sensu being supposed to be used? Um... Have you ever watched Dragon Ball Abridged? It's exactly what you think it is. Sun Sabine. Um, you're gonna edit today? From uh, what game? Let's see, I don't need any of these. Playback lag. Is it because you're stri Oh, you're recording from uh, Elgato, huh? Alright. We're not gonna deal with equipment. I'll maybe I'll do that later. It's gonna be a long day anyway. Uh, let's go check out this treasure chest. There's apparently five in this area. Huh. Well, that's interesting. Well, Sensu Bean isn't really, it's mostly just the audio clip. I don't have any scares in there, so I think I'm good. Uh, unlock the save point. Yeah. Sounds exactly like it. I guess the best time... <laughs> To ever use that would be for if I get destroyed by something. Or, uh, you know, Snacks I could use done. some support. Never really use it. Let's see, what do we... Oh, there's a turtle here. Well, I'm for Doc. I'm actually trying out Streamlabs again. Because they do selective, uh, selective recordings. Seems like... It's... Seems like it's incredible sightings. He must be closest by closes. Oh yeah, I made the new maps. Buy it. Thanks for business. Now I can continue on my journeys. Always talks with a Z apparently. The reports of sightings sure seem to check out. He can't be far. I believe he has a mission where he has to chase down an enemy and track him down. That's why he's. Yeah, that, that was an issue for me too with uh, Streamlabs, a bit lagging. But uh, I tried a couple different things and might have to upgrade a couple things from on my computer this year. Just depends if Corona uh, decides on, um, what do you call it, hiking up my prices. Where am I supposed to be going? Alright, I'm supposed to go over here. That means what we're going to do is go the opposite way and go over here. And look around. There's another chest over there. Pick this up. Alright, what are we doing? I don't, I don't know when I'll be able to, uh, to upgrade, though. 
All right, good luck on your editing, Doc. Wait, I just started watching JoJo and for a person... Oh, wow. JoJo's actually really good. Um, I have a... I wouldn't say guilty pleasure, but if anime is involved, there's one that I'll always recommend. It's called Cross Game. It's not, it's not combat. It's more like a slice of life. Fell in love with that story. I, I still I still cry on the first episode of that. But um, other than that, you know the usual, the usual animes: Yu Yu Hakusho, Samurai X is always good. Um, it seems like there's not really go a lot going on in this plague town. Well, I mean. Granted, most people have probably died and are buried underneath, so they don't really have much going for them. There's a chest here. Can't open it. There's three more chests in this area, but I don't know where they are. But we've looked around. Not a lot of people to talk to. Uh, who's the one that told me a lot about JoJo? There's a coworker of mine that just loves that show. It's it's uh it's it's strong for a lot of a lot of things that they do in that show. But Dio is great. Uh, especially he was in um, what is it? What game is that? I think it was. Oh, what was that? That jump game. Jump Force with all the anime characters in it. I think he drops like a steamroller. There's a lot of people who can barely swallow, so it's probably better to keep the food as liquid as possible. Are they that weak already? The plague must be taking its toll. Take this. Um, let's see, anything else? Oh man, it's so rough using controller. Your Highness, how on earth did you make it over here? No, never mind. We have more pressing matters at hand. Marlin is in a dire situation. If you were to make your way to the sanctuary, they will tell you all you need to know in there. Well, yeah, that's the plan. Don't worry, Grandpa. Nafe is going to take care of everyone. You just get some rent. Aww. Grandpa. We got here a bit late. And probably even later now that we're screwing around, running around, collecting items. Is that it, though? I think that's everything. There's two chests that I can't find. I'll just have to look for him later. Let's go in here. Is there a chest like out here or something? Oh, there is. Nice. Alright, so the only other chest is that one that we can't open yet. Let's go in here. Lady Alicia, you made it safely. I've brought medicine. What's happening? We can do not stop the infection. The disease has spread to our ranks. We cannot even exterminate the wild dogs. At this rate, the entire kingdom may very well succumb to its ravages. By the stars. First, please distribute the medicine. Right away. Things will be okay. They've got resources now. Yes. And we can help dispatch the hellhounds. And yet, I suspect that they are not the true source of this epidemic. A stronger Hellion, born of powerful malevolence. So we gotta find the Hellion that's corrupting the town. From what we're hearing... Purified Malevolence and Marlin. It's separate, but it's still encompassing all of the city. And it's uh, taking its toll, if you, as you can see from the bodies here. Things are uh, not going well. Even the soldiers are starting to drop. Go catch some shut eye, would you? You won't be any use to anyone if you're dead. What's that? Who's there? <laughs> I gotta keep myself from falling asleep. But if you sleep, sometimes you just don't wake up at this point. It's our daughter. 
She's dead. Why did this happen? She was only just seven years old. What did she do to anyone? This medicine isn't nearly enough to go around. Everyone will have to wait until Naif shows up. Wait, so what you're telling me is we carried very little just for emergency? That's not going to work out. The capital's got to send reinforcements soon. I, I just hope we can hold out until they do. Well, the, the, the reinforcement is going to be a bit weird. Just because the bridge is out and everybody still has to build the bridge. Unless they get a ferry captain to just kind of shuffle it over. Who knows at this point. It hurts, mommy. M make it stop. You didn't even do anything. You're just sick. Th she's... She'll be fine. We'll save her. Let's head out. We gotta figure out how to stop the malevolence. Or at least purify it. What is it? Oh, that's not a good sign. Anything with wings the is dragon. bad. No, it's just a hellion. You can tell because the humans don't see it. Oh. It's landing over there! So once you see it, then it's a full-fledged dragon? Something like that. Right there in town. Do you think that Hellion is in the same situation as Uno? What should we do, Saray? Well, we're gonna risk our lives and get our asses kicked by that dragon. Eh, maybe. I don't know. I don't know how strong we are. We'll find out, though. Let's go. Where is it? Dude, that thing has wingspan. Don't tell me you're gonna fight it. It looks like a dragon to me. Does look like a dragon. We don't know that for sure. You can tell me if it gets too dangerous. Wonderful. And I wind up with all the responsibility as usual. <laughs> that Hellion is called a Drake. It's a younger form of dragon. It looks like the city's malevolence is energizing it somehow. Then we have to kill it while we still have time. Wait, don't, Alicia. Hold on. Wait, they just said it's energizing it. So, is he charging up with the malevolence from the town? Look oh, out. crap! And eventually, he's gonna become a full-fledged dragon if he stays here. We have to run. Remember, every time you see a dragon, just run. That's not good. That was close. It's pretty questionable that they outrun it, outran it, though. Sorry, we didn't mean to startle you. Huh. <sighs> Again? Well, we gotta do something. There's gotta be something else. Edna, you said that the malevolence in the city is energizing that thing, right? Probably. Then we should focus on purifying the malevolence. Indeed. I expect that would naturally weaken the drake. Although it sounds like a huge hassle. Well, you gotta break a few eggs to make an omelette. The plan sounds good enough to me. Though your choice of metaphor less so. Even if we do manage to weaken it, we can't fight it if we can't bring it down. We'll find a way to accomplish that too. With everyone's help. Hassle times two. Slow and steady wins the race, Edna. Oh, yes. I prefer that metaphor to the one where we're eggs that go splat. Time to begin operations slow and steady. Hey, as long as we're not the eggs, I'm good. Uh, slow and steady, right? We should search every street and alleyway. I expect we will find the sources of the town's malevolence without too much trouble. And what's the other one? It's like they're partially hellionized. 
I get the impre I get that impression too. They're less powerful than most we've fought until now, but they're still Hellion-ish. These might be the same as the Hellhounds we encountered at the town entrance, don't you think? The flames you and Lila wield ought to be able to purify them, so it might be best to take care of them while we can, don't you think? It might do some good towards helping Marlin recover from the plague. Okay, so basically, we did run into those dog faces. That's not what we're calling ugly people, it's just that they look like dogs. These ones right here. And the only weapon we have against Hellions How's really is start? the Flames of Purification, which you just... Ta-da! Hair, Mikleo. I made this for you. So you can purify them by doing that, and we're just basically going to search the town and make sure all of them are gone. So there's one over here. I don't know why the star is over here, but we're going to go purify first. I don't know where the other ones are. I know I've covered the whole, uh, the whole area though, so that's not too bad. I got all the monoliths. Monolith. Uh, there's one over here. I think there's one in each entrance. Who are you? Oh wait, do these people have something new to say? Let's check. I know there's no people on the right side. Let's try the uh, the graveyard people. Oh, they're good. I guess we're all good over here. And the people inside the, the sanctuary is good. So we'll check over here. See what's going on. Apparently there's a star over here, so we're going to go check on that. What about you? We're so grateful for your help keeping the victims nourished. Your husband said he would watch over them a while longer. Okay, as long as he's not dead. Shall I help you carry those? No, I'm just fine. A history of Monmouth culture and the works of Sir Geoffrey. Wow, it's the first time I'm seeing them. These are valuable books. I'm hiding them away so they don't get lost or destroyed in the war. Oh, then all the more reason I should be help- It's fine. It's a classified location. Don't tell anyone about this. It's to protect the books. Um, I guess? Something's up. You think so? Don't you? She was all excuses and we didn't even say anything. I certainly never heard of any such secret library. I mean, you gotta g give her at least the benefit of the doubt. Just because you're a princess doesn't mean you know everything. Come on. She might be a good person, who knows? Talk to that one. Oh, the scholarly city of the whole- of the- of the Holy Great Tree. I don't know why I can't read that. So this is Marland. It is a city rich in history, is it not? I believe even the Celestial Record mentioned it. Yeah, I always wanted to visit. Marland, the city of knowledge nestled amongst the holy trees. Their shining branches are as a beacon unto the fruit of knowledge and the flower of aesthetics. There walks this continent no true scholar no true artist who did not once frolic in its sylvan depths. Well, the fruit looks pretty rotten right now, if you ask me. Pretty sure no one did. Even so, she's right. Maybe so. But flowers will always bloom again in springtime, and bear their fruit in autumn. Indeed, the cycle will never end so long as there remains passion for knowledge and beauty. Right? Very true. History has proven as such. I think you have flowers in your head or something. Don't you like flowers, Edna? I mean, they're fine. The pretty <laughs> ones, at least. Oh, hey, hold on. Save point travel? Oh, it's because we don't have a, a Lord of the Land yet. Because apparently we're out of reach of the Lord of the Land for Lady Lake. Uno. So Uno can't help us at the moment. So we're just going to purify you. I think we got one more back at the it? very at I the start of the did. entrance. Oh, she made a nice pop. Nice. 
That was the one that she had a skit where Miklio, uh, she asked Miklio to help her. Let's see, did we get everything here? Yep. I just want to make sure I don't miss any skits. Last one. Search for the woman who's carrying the books. So we still gotta follow up on her. Guess that's all the hellhounds in town. The epidemic here should settle at least a little bit now. Yeah, but only momentarily. It was not done in vain. The malevolence has subsided considerably. I mean, considerably means a lot. I mean, I, I guess it is a bit brighter now. The sun's coming through. Is that what we're talking about? Or is that just my imagination? And uh, it's just basically a placebo effect. It's like, yeah, we're doing something right. I mean, I think it's brighter. Hmm. All right, well, let's go check on the lady over here. Hello. My daughter rests in peace in the cemetery. She loved books so much. This graveyard is where my daughter is laid to rest. She was a bookworm too. Hmm. Okay, well, let's leave her alone then. Okay, we did that one. We purified the Hellions causing the plague, but... If the malevolence has not yet dissipated, the source of the problem must lie somewhere else. What's your take on that lady with the books, Alicia? There is something that bothers me about that woman, Sarai. Uh, let us investigate further what she's up to. Here we go, let's go find out what's going on. <sighs> I understand you wanting to trust her, but something's wrong. Kinda of funny to bury books in a graveyard. I'm similarly concerned. Let's hide and observe. Alright. I mean, maybe if she had it in a case, something that would protect protect the books, but if she's just burying it, even if it's inside the casket, it's not going to work out. It's got to have something, some kind of protective layer on it. Who's that? Don't kid yourself, Agatha. That's worth a thousand at best. She's selling the books? You're... What are you doing? So you lied to us about protecting the books? <sighs> it was always just my daughter and I barely getting by. I couldn't even give her one happy memory before she died. Haven't I suffered enough? Can I not have something good for once in my life? Oh no. Malevolence! We're taking these back. I'll be turning you into the guards for misappropriation and theft. <laughs> I always knew. Someday this was bound to happen. The malevolence is fading. I don't need this anymore. Do you think you can return it to Nafe for me? <sighs> Catching her quelled the malevolence? It's like That's she wanted to. That's probably what she wanted deep down. To be brought to justice. Well, I guess that proves that she really did love books after all. Earth dwellers are such a chore. So, job done? Library key. Uh, do you think we did right by Agatha? Through her, we are one step closer to discovering the truth behind how malevolence is formed. We can only hope that being found out today will ultimately lead her to, to her salvation. I mean, yeah, it did seem like she wanted to get caught. Alright, let's go find this library. Is it this area, maybe? 
doesn't look like I can go in there though. So just tap that real quick. All right, let's check. Can I go in here? Nope. All right, well, it must be over here then. This is the last area we haven't gone into. And we have a key, so hopefully it's this area. We going in? So, are you scared of ghosts too? Would you like me to hold your hand? It's not like that. <laughs> you understand, don't you, Saray? I ain't afraid of no ghost. I'm sensing a huge domain. There's definitely a strong hellion here. It could be hiding anywhere in the museum. We better canvas the entire area. Ow. See what I did there? Canvas is a fabric used as a painting service and... Please stop. Gotta get oh, used wow. to that. I just got it. <laughs> See, it was just enough explaining. It opened. It wants us to come in. Looks like it. Wait, if it opened, then what... What was the library key for? Coexisting with the Seraphim. So there's no Guardian Seraph here either. Looks like it. I don't want to assume that the entire world is like this, but... I think there are quite a lot of Seraphim who are less than fond of humans. Can it really be that hard for humans and Seraphim to coexist peacefully again? Do you really think that could happen? Must be nice living in a fantasy world. It isn't necessarily just a fantasy. But look at the reality. I understand that it may be difficult to achieve, sure. But in reality, there was a time like that in the past. There are records in the ruins and in the celestial record. When is this past you're referring to? Long, long ago. But even now, there are seraphim like you, Edna. Huh? And we figured out that we could bring back the blessing as well. Yep. I think this is a step towards coexistence with the seraphim and humans. I'll be counting on you, Edna. Selfish as ever. <laughs> That's why I can't stand humans. Get used to it. Selfish types everywhere. Jeez. I like that she turns away when she uh when she she has to act like that. All right. We already checked all of this. There's an item over there we can't open. I see it right there. And let's go inside. So right now we're still searching for the massive um, source of malevolence. Enough that it could have its own domain here. So there's that. Check this one. Just get more. Let's see, anything? Uh, there's a door. The door won't budge. Something seems to be blocking it from the other side. The usual for, for this place. So, was she taking from here? What is this? Uh, sword. Okay, doesn't really do anything. I just wanted to try it. Actually, does she say anything different Such from this important area? cultural artifacts. This is awful. We can't forgive this. Can I burn this? Oh yeah, works about the same. Um, is this place important to the kingdom? Dumnonia? Dum Dumonia? Museum was home to many valuable Highland artifacts and works of art. It pains me to find it in such a state of ruin. Okay, so it is important somewhere. Oh, hey, there's an enemy. So Stupid the place is important. It does, they say. Is that really a scorpion? It's so large. But that makes it easier to hit, right? Fair points. Purification complete. Hold on. Switch. There we go. You know, let's have Lila in there. All right, which way are we go? Door won't budge. I guess we're going this way. Hello. Oh, what was that? Oh, she got me. well. How about you, knaves? Oh my! I can see fairies. I believe they're also hellions. Uh, then be careful. It's over. Alright. This oh. is my time! Light blast! Eh, not bad. My will shall pierce thee, just like this spear. 
It's always the harmless ones that looks real dangerous. Well, that turned out to be real dangerous. Let's open this one up. Got an apple gel. We got 20 of those now. We're going to have to start selling these things. Okay. What's next? I am ready. Solid cross. Not, not yet. Uh, not bad. All right, where did that one guy come from? Let's do some fortune telling. Please pick one. All right. Mikleo and Edna will have excellent luck. Wait, what about me? Hmm. Fortune teller tells other people's fortune. Doesn't have to be yours, I guess. Fair point. Uh, anything around here? No? Okay. Just check it. Just checking. Step on wheat and wheat gains strength. Step on them and what takes place? Squash on their bellies and their guts pop out. Squishy and red flying out of their mouths. Excuse me? What sinister writings? It looks like they were scrawled in blood. Ooh. Uh, is it me or is that... It's like flying. There's a gap between the wall and the blood. Interesting. The children's laughter is unnerving. Oh. Counting on you, Lila. Frozen corpse is going to hell. Let's Run get him. Yeah, that's it's a terrible so camera right angle. So Fighting at the doorway. Not yet. Not yet. Purification complete. But hey, it worked out. Another spider. Oh, a long time no see. Is it the same one we saw in the ruins? This one could be much stronger. You've really seen hellions like this in that ruin? She's really lucky she didn't encounter any of those Everyone, while she was down right? there. Oh, this is why it's blocked up. Open that. There you go. Nice. What? Was that flashing? Don't know. Hmm. Seems like we're good to go here. Left or right? I saw you. Your opponent, Hellion. First of spear, crush down. All right. Ready to get? Let's get him. Sweet dreams. I did it. Sweet. Purification complete. I think we still have what, like two skits in this area. Uh, let's see what the map looks like. Ooh, oh, we're gonna go north. Why? Because the south looks like it has a ladder going down, and the north doesn't. Hello? Enemies? Whoa, too close. Just one enemy? Alright. I feel like we're being uh, underestimated here. I was hoping to get a dangerous counter from that. Well, that was actually pretty decent. Must have been, if you're complimenting me. Wow. Hmm, anything? Couches? Take the chest. Life bottle. Maybe something over here? Apple gel. All the things that we don't really use anymore. Okay. Now, seriously, how are you back? I just killed you. Counting on you, Lila! Hey, you better... Must be because we don't have the, uh, the Lord of the Land or something. Seems like that pixie's doing work though. Just constantly casting. Needs to end. Experience leads to confidence. Who's next? Okay, now let's head on uh, down here to the south. What do we got? Um, there's that. A couple of these things. Hey, herb. Oh, it doesn't go down. It goes up. Oh, there goes Harry Potter's room. Um, anything on here? There's a monolith. Let's take that one. Let's see what we got. 
Uh, nothing too special. Open this up. Calcite boots. Oh, hey. What is that? It's got blood on it. Swing the blade once. Cut off the right hand. Swing it again. There goes the left hand. The wicked thief cries out in pain. It hurts, it hurts, he screams in vain. Swing the blade once more and cut off their head. The thief goes silent. The thief is dead. Is this a statue of the shepherd? What senseless vandalism. Wait, why is it the shepherd? Does he have, like, the shepherd's garb? No, he doesn't. They're talking about a thief. Oh, he does have the shepherd's mark on him, though, does he? I don't know. Let's check on it. Oh, that's it? Okay, fine. You win. What about you, Alicia? Hey, Alicia, that writing on the wall. Yes, it concerns me too. Who would write such an eerie nonsense? Uh, and in blood, no less. Whoever it is, clearly, they're deeply disturbed. Okay, well, we're done with this. Um, anything else? Statue? Burn it. Burn it down. Oh, I thought this was a door. Alright, well, moving on. Let's see what we got here. Oh, hey, dangerous encounter. Let's go. Counting on you, Lila! No way! I got you! I don't know why I chose to do it, but I think it might give us better rewards if we do it. And stay down. Tear mine. That's better. Crimson Bridge. It's actually fine that she's using Mystic Arts because she can't really use her blast gauge with Alicia. Because Alicia um, can't armatize, as far as we know. You sure are strange, Saray. Really? So. Definitely weird. You're also really not weird. <laughs> I keep forgetting about these. I know I've seen them. I know they're a thing, but still. Anything around here? It doesn't look like. Why would you just put an empty room here? Um. What? Something broken? Nope. Something broke. Oh, missed it. Counting on you, Lila. Is it that? That's over there. It looks like a pillar, though. Hang on, everyone. Focus. My will shall pierce thee, just like this spear. All right. Let's see. Looks like we're supposed to go straight. What is this? Chew and swallow. Rend meat with teeth. The evil ones taste juicy and sweet. Eat their flesh and suck bones dry. Not one scrap will leave behind. Eating people? Wh what is this about? <laughs> well, that's just rude. Let's try in here. Hello? How did it come to him? Everyone okay? Yeah, still good. Do this. Pick up an item. Calcite hairband. Okay, alright. And then we're going to check this right here. Find a new discovery point. Statue of the Conqueror. Before we start this, so I can actually drink something. Pepsi time. Ah, yeah. Good times. Let's go listen to this now. This statue, it radiates such dignity. You can tell from his expression that he must have been a great warrior. A fine man. I would like to see his entire body. Oh, but but wouldn't he be more or less naked? That's what makes him attractive, in an aesthetic sense. W well, it's true that the perfectly toned body of a warrior may be aesthetically pleasing, but... Alicia! Unladylike! 
No, I only meant it as a generalization. I really have no personal interest in that sort of thing. Not at all, huh? I mean, not much. Just enough. Th the, uh, normal amount. Wow, settle down. It's just a statue. Seriously. Though it's true that King Claudin epitomizes the warrior ideal. Hold on, this is King Meliodas, right? Not King Claudin. What? But then it wouldn't match with the style at all. Yes, because this bust was carved as a speculation on the style of future generations. I think your interpretation is a bit far-fetched. Well, I think you're trapped in stereotypical views. All right. Look, let's drop our preconceptions and start over then. Can we identify the subject? What features stand out? Wow, settle down. It's just a statue. Seriously. Seriously. <laughs> Ah, uh, the cast. I mean, they're interesting. I just... Some people just stand out more than others. Well, that sucks. Let's do this! Focus! Hang on, everyone! <laughs> like, to me, Saray doesn't seem like the main character. All the interesting bits are between Alicia and, uh, and Edna. Ready? No everyone okay? All right, let's go. We got. We still gotta clear this area, find the source of the malevolence. There's an enemy here, Not and mood, pretty much save the plague town. That's a big move. AOE staggers always good. I think the setup's a bit too long for it. Though. I was clearly the star of that battle. It's you weren't in that battle. The dimmer stars when they shine, they say. Wow. That was... That was actually mean. That last one was really mean from Edna. It's easiest to spot the dimmer stars when they shine bright. <laughs> Alright, let's just get out of here. Could use a sensu bean for, uh, for Megleo there. Um, what is this? Oh, we're on the top bit of the entrance. Yep. That means I get to unlock that door now. Because I'm nearby-ish? This seems like a place where you would put the picture right here. Guess not. Alright, break that open. Now we can, uh, I can use that as an exit. We're just going to check some Harry Potter crawl space here. Anything else? There's a monolith and a chest. Okay, anything else? Nope. Alright, let's keep going. Let's check the next area. More webs. Good. Whoever these kids are, they're laughing at me way too much. Now, uh, it seems like, it seems like the end of the line here. So I'm gonna go check equipment real quick before we do anything. Oh boy, anything that makes us stronger? Actually, instead of doing that, let's just do it like this. Nope. Okay. Um, you, this one. You know what? No, start with Edna. Because everybody's pretty much uh, set up. So I'd at least have... Would love to have Edna a bit stronger. And then Earth. That one. I don't have any of that. Okay, fine. Let's make her a bit stronger too. Nope. She's good. Right, what about you? You get the Earth Ring. And could get the Calcite Tierra. There we go. So it adds more to her actual damage. Eventually we're just gonna have to revamp or get rid of all of those and use use items that have better base stats. But for now, that's just what it is. Um what to get rid of? What to get rid of? New save. Okay. Open. Let's find out what's causing all the problems here. Actually, Alicia? Alicia! Where are you? She's gone. 
They took her. Aw, she's a cutie. Is that you? No, it's not. Uh, oh, there's more. No, we're good. Let's just look at this. I was just grabbing a drink. Purity, come I suppose this hellion must be the source. Lucky for you, it isn't a ghost, Nick Leo. I told you it's not like that. Save it for later. Return to void. Dancing ember. You know nothing. Surfing the water. Clear shot. Open the way. Dance embers. Okay, it seems like we can't get past 50 combos here. Let's see, 20. They're doing a lot of damage. And they're not really competing with us on damage, so I think we'll be fine. It would be nice if they at least use a, a mystic card to kill him, but still. You need something to work with, guys. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. I'll do it later. It's a boss fight. Do it next time. Wow, that was it? Anticlimactic. <laughs> And prickle bores, what's gotten into you? What? I, uh, sorry. What a fool I was. I should have realized you would be here, attack. Oh, my goodness! It's pretty Lady Lila. How you been? Ooh. We're a lick of fun. Is this a friend of yours? Sort of. It was a long time ago. My name's Attack. Jeez, to please ya. That's a weird name. Well, yeah. Aren't What's you your name? Rude? <laughs> Don't you know that Attack is a Norman name of the highest pedigree? Means I'm fancy. Nico. Definitely not Lalafell, but yes, pretty close. It looks sort of like the thing attached to Edna's umbrella. <laughs> By the Let's foot. Let's save talk of Edna's thingy for later, shall we? That one's a particularly long story. It is it? Is. What does she know? Hey, Lila, what's a Norman? They're a special kind of seraphim. They aren't quite as powerful as a lord of the land, but they can still be a help to other seraphim. <laughs> How? Well, they have the ability to boost another Seraph's power. They're kind of like a maid of sorts. A maid? That's my Lila! You know me like the back of your lily white hand. So he's basically Dobby. Like a maid? <laughs> I'm afraid I'm not so sure I get it. Lila's explanations can be pretty off the cuff. Billies like you could never understand what Lila and I mean to each other. I'm not sure I want to understand. Well, anyways, y'all are Lila's friends and all. Maybe I can treat you to some grub. I'm kind of curious what he's going to try to feed you. Okay, level up. Nope. We're, uh, we're doing okay here. Nico showed up, so we're kind of good. Let's see. What do you have to say about him? What do you think? Never met such an eccentric seraph. And what could be the relation between Norman and Edna? There's something she's not telling us. But how does Lila know? You actually could cue victory fanfare. Nicholas, sunlight girl. 
Jean Luc's bloomer. This is a massacre. Nico, Who have done such a thing. Yeah, uh, well, you did. You turned into a Hallian. He did lose control and started breaking things here. I remember. It was me. I went out of my head, tore my beloved treasures apart, and, and now they're gone forever! I can't do it. I got glasses on. He really made a mess out of this place. I don't know why I'm looking up in real life when I can just turn the camera, but I, I definitely looked up. <laughs> He's depressed now. He does have the the, the helmet still. Attack! What on earth happened that made you turn into a Hellion? I'm sure it's hard for you, but can you tell us about it? Well, I've always had a real big thing for art, you know? <laughs> Moved in here a good long while back. Oh. He looks cute. Got to whittle my days away, just people watching and gazing at fine art. I wasn't worshipped or nothing, but I weren't lonely neither. Sounds like a good life. I was happy. <laughs> Real happy. Hmm. Wait, did he just walk off? Finish your damn story. Alright, fine, fine. Let's go keep up with him. Where the hell is he? Down there. I mean, he he's... Well, most of this story is about a bad life. But it also comes down to, did he do the right thing after he got dealt a bad hand? But ever since the countries took to fighting, the humans started to get real nasty. That country's bad, they'd say. That country's art is bad. Slash it! Burn it! So they used art just as fuel for the fires of war. It's true. And that ain't the half of it! <laughs> That's when they started to move the art on the black market. Oh, so that's where it all went. They were laughing and clutching their money and their the grubby little hands! Hooray for war! Hooray for profits! I got so mad, so dejected, I felt my anger bubbling up, but I was beyond caring. And then... And then? That's when I became a Hellion. It's not your fault, Attack. Thanks, son. <laughs> I appreciate it and all, but I'd like to be alone for a little while. Aww. Let's go. Let's give, give him some space. Just imagine going on a rampage and destroying a lot- most of the things that you love. And then finally realizing what you've done and living with that. His name is Attack? <laughs> His name is Attack, yeah, it's a bit weird, but it's it's apropos because uh, what he does for the equipment system is amazing, so why not? You got taters in your ears or something? I just want to be alone for a while. Oh, okay, Attack. I kind of just want to see him without the helmet, though. Do you, can I get like an, an up helmet? Up helmet. Uh, no, okay, leave him, leave him alone. Bye, attack. We'll come visit you. <laughs> I mean, he can't control it, though. Never thought that the source of all that malevolence would be the love of art. Yeah, 
That was unexpected. It's the Kingdom of Highland that caused attack such pain. If only I had been able to do something. Malevolence can come from anyone's spirit. Especially when that spirit holds hate for other people. And for us Seraphim, the influence we receive from the vessel in particular can be a danger. So if I started generating malevolence, it'd put everyone in danger? Pretty much. All of us could become Hellions. <sighs> so basically, their lives are in his hand. Saray, Alicia, the people in their despair cling to those with power that surpasses theirs far more tightly than you may imagine. Religion in a nutshell. Do not undervalue your ideals, nor the things that are in your power to accomplish. A shepherd's emotions towards the people he rescues are also his greatest enemy, in a way. Okay, understood. <laughs> Didn't she just tell you not to be so stiff and serious? Oh, I guess you're right. <laughs> but I suppose I don't need to worry about you. <laughs> We'll get started so you don't have to. Just doing what's within our power, right? Uh, I think becoming a Hellion is being under negative emotions, basically. Or tainting you. Feels like the malevolence has been lifted somewhat, don't you think? Indeed it has. But we still need to find a way to bring the Drake down. Saray, can you head to the base of the Great Tree? Huh? Okay. Oh yeah, you got sure. It. Seems like she has an idea. But yeah, it's basically all the negative things about that person. Be it uh, being stricken grief or hatred to towards another. It's not great. It's not a great premise for it. But basically a human can be tainted and eventually they'll spiral down into their lowest point and become a Hellion. I wish I knew what Edna's planning. She must have something in mind. Uh, let us humor her and head for the base of the great tree. Sure. No skits? No nothing? Alright. Let's see what they got. I just hope that I'm not fighting a dragon immediately. <laughs> Probably not the best thing to do. Alright, this is the base. I'm all, ab all about that base. Um, They're fairly unique, but they depend on the person as is. So you got spiders, you got snakes that turned into hellions. But for the most part, human normal humans won't be able to tell the difference. So this snake nor looks like a normal snake to them. Uh, wolf, bat, centipede, slime, because there's always slimes in JRPGs. Uh, there's a werewolf. This actually, this was a human in the story. And when... People were seeing them. He was a human, but for some reason, he's a werewolf hellion. So, a couple things. Right now, it's mostly just, mo you know, normal monsters. There's a pig or an orc. Lamia. It's just a beheaded, you know, just a head. But yeah, it could be a lot of things. And here's attack just now. King Arthur. All right, let's uh, let's find out what she what she's up to here. This is not the base. This is just the middle. Where am I going? There it is. What do you plan to do, Edna? Shoot Wait rocks at it. Wait. Um. Okay. For whom? <sighs> For me, silly. What are you planning? What is the plan here? It just fades to black, you know, three hours later. Hello? Edna? I wonder where Edna went off to. Went to make Who a snack. Who knows what goes on in her head? Ah! I'm back. What is wrong with you? Huh? <laughs> it's attack. Attack? I'm here to help! 
Or tell you folks could be using an extra jolt of power. We just might. If I combine attack's power with my arrows, we can bring down the Drake. Edna told me that y'all are trying super duper hard to fix things up. Mm. If this glum bum town gets back on its feet, folks might finally remember the place of art in a civilized society. Thank you, Edna. I just thought it might work. Aw, she doesn't want to be praised. Alright, so we're gonna bring down that, uh, that dragon now. And here it comes. Drat, it's so dark, I can barely see it. That's a good thing. You can fight without worrying about humans catching sight of you. Hey, good thinking. So, how exactly should we go about shooting this thing down? That I don't know. Tonight's supposed to be a full moon. All we need is some light. The clouds are receding. Let's look for a place where we can aim our shot with the aid of the moonlight. Attack! I'm glad you're not, you know, still bummed out about life. Oh, he's sitting down like he's got his bum on the floor. It's just a pet. If you need my help ever, just let me know. I gotta... I gotta do what I can to atone for all the rotten cotton I did as a hellion. Ah, good for you. Where should we shoot it from? My suggestion would be a location as high as possible where the moonlight is not blocked by trees. Okay, so around... Oh, okay, it's down there. But that's not where we're heading. Because right now we gotta go pick up some... Uh... We gotta go pick up some skits. Actually, do these people have anything new to say? The town's slowly getting better, right? Maybe it's just a question of mood, but it doesn't feel as oppressively bad today as it has recently. The victims being kept in the sanctuary seems a little calmer, too. Well, yeah, we're actually fixing the problem. Slowly alleviating it, but fixing the problem nonetheless. It's so quiet this evening. With all the heavy rain yesterday, it almost feels like the calm before the storm. Of course, the town has been quiet as a mouse ever since the plague has broken out, but tonight feels a bit different somehow. I can't quite put my finger on it, but it's not unwelcome. Oh yeah, everybody's in despair. All the people in here, how are they feeling? They're all probably sick and dying. We got new, new things to say though. Well, how's it going? Things are looking a bit better than before, than before I was laid up. What? Yes, yes, I'm okay. At least I feel a hell of a lot better than when I first got sick. So you were sick. Oh, that little, little girl. How are you feeling now? Yes, yes, they're fine. Now get some sleep so you can better yourself. Who? Who are you talking to? Mom? How's Dad doing? And Chiro? Is Chiro okay? Is Chiro a dog? Because I'm about to say sorry. We're not out of the woods yet, but I think we can allow ourselves to rest up a bit. If we have to go without sleep for too long, we'll all end up falling sick ourselves. Well, I mean, the plague town isn't doing well. We're just managing to get back on our feet, but we need aid, and soon. I mean, Nath is trying to get here with all the, with all the medicine, but he still has to build a bridge, which takes a lot more time than uh, is, is expected. Why? Why did... Why didn't help come sooner? Before my daughter- Oh, no. Daughter passed away. Sorry. We'll try to fix the world, though. It's too late for us to save your daughter. But we can say- We can pre prevent people from dying. And that's- For the greater good? Doesn't help your daughter, but for the greater good, right? Sorry, man. Perhaps that supply of medicine is doing the trick. Though I think they are quite a ways from fully recovering. I'll do as much as I can, of course. It's only right someone helps out your wife with the cooking. She can't do it all herself now, can she? Good wife. At least today their symptoms seems to be under control. But maybe it's just a lull, as they say. It's as if the sickness has ceased ravishing them. 
Well, that's because of the work of the shepherd here, you know? Give me some credit. There's no people there. Oh, the shops are closed. Okay, well, thanks. Anybody else? It's just the middle of the night, isn't it? Yeah, alright. But anyway, we have to go to the inn. Because we gotta pick up a couple skits. By sleeping. So, pork and potatoes. I guess I just have to get used to it. Oh, you're still awake? Uh, duh. I've been here a while now. Why aren't you saying anything? It's not like you and I need to hold back on what we say. Yeah, we aren't like that, right? Of course. I'm gonna go to sleep. Sorry about all this. You mean, good night. Wait, did they just have a skit about nothing? But I, I guess there was more to that, though. It was them feeling each other out to see if uh, one of them has to talk. Because the other person knows something's wrong with the other. But it's just not time for them to uh, open up to each other yet. What else? I've always thought that the name Attack was a little strange, but never imagined it was also the name of a skill. So you've noticed, huh? Huh? Was I not supposed to? <laughs> I'll explain it briefly. Equipment skills come from the boon of the Lord of the Land. In other words, they're a godsend. Fifty primary elements have been found through various arrangements of mana and elements. By combining those fifty elements, additional effects are born. And by infinitely fusing and combining them, Seraphim and humans are created in the same way. Interesting. Yeah, and the purest elements of all combine to make... Norman, right? Uh, no. Gemstones. Used <laughs> to make jewelry and stuff like that. Hey! Fifty elite humans were gathered to research each of those elements. Namely... The Norman. But then the project gets thrown into crisis by a late newcomer. When are you going to get to the part about the Norman? Norman don't appear until chapter 23. 23? Now quit rushing me. Huh? Was I not supposed to ask that question? I think she was fucking with him. Edna has the best personality. Let's just chalk it off to that. Right, let's go save. Okay. Oh, there's people here. What do you have to say? There's been at least one every day for weeks. We'll have to put a stop to it soon, or else. Of what? Deaths? Am I just supposed to imagine the worst? The manager of the inn was saying that the sick are starting to improve slowly. If we're th through the worst of it, how lovely would that be? Corona. Here we go. Every time he comes in for a drink, it's the same, I tell you. I guess he needs an escape from the rest of his life? And in way, who can blame him given the state of things? Alright, I mean, he's still alive though. It's not like everybody's dead. Let me go in here real quick. Is there any items in here? I haven't any checked. Let's just break into the, uh... Oh, wait. Oh, wait. What? Let me, let me... Yeah! Strawberry waffle. Let me just break into your inn and take a strawberry waffle. Where do we shoot it from? Alright, uh, we already talked about that one. Haha, you have to do homework. Me, on the other hand, I just want to stay awake so I don't have to, uh... So there's no chance of me being late today. Or tomorrow. I don't want to be late, so I'm going to stay up and not sleep and be miserable tomorrow. Good call. The best calls. Alright, we've talked to everybody. We got our skits. Let's, uh, let's fight this Drake. Because Drake sucks. Let's go over here. This is it. Pick the spot with no moonlight, so we got the best coverage. No trees to block our sights.
<laughs> that was weird. Ooh. Hey, Rhymes! That's some power you got there. I can only handle one shot. Damn. Hmm. One shot is enough. One opportunity. Serene, I'll do the aiming. Right. And I'll pick when to fire. Now! Ooh. Nice! And no one felt that? It's China stud. It's not over yet. This is it. Aim and fire. Even a mere drake is this big and this strong? You can't be serious. You should know the difference in size and skill a dragon has by now. We are here to do whatever must be done. That's right. As we are now, we can do it. Whatever. Try not to die out there. Ooh. Go. Give me strength. Go. You know, it's not as big as I thought it would be. I mean, we fought it earlier, but still, it's definitely not comparable to the dragon we fought, we found earlier in the in Spirit Crest. But Edna's brother will have to find a way to save him. We did him. it! We beat the dragon! It was just a drake. Sure, we might not be strong enough to beat a dragon yet, but... Yeah, we will get there someday! So basically any talk of dragons will always fo focus on Edna. Just because her brother succumbed to the malevolence, became a hellion, and then became a dragon and now we're look her story is that we have to find uh, a way to save her brother that's already turned into a dragon Ooh. and this is uh, I don't know his name of purification might you be the shepherd so you must be Marlins First of all, he just took an ass kicking, okay? Why the hell is he standing up immediately? Guardian Seraph Rohan. Rohan. Or should I say, I was. I very nearly became a dragon. I have no right to continue protecting this town. Don't say that. Seraph Rohan. I am Alicia Difta. Princess of the Kingdom of Highland. It is we who must bear the blame. We who corrupted the hearts of the people and set you on the path to becoming a Hellion. But I assure you that I shall set things right. If you must punish anyone, let it be me. So please, if it's still possible, let us have your blessing just this once. You're an impassioned young princess. I'll give you that. You can see me? Yes. I have pledged myself as Saray's squire. Have you? And you're okay? Huh? Oh. Uh. They're gonna find out. I see. The malevolence in town has lowered significantly. You're the one who dispelled it? We all did. Hmm. Then so be it. I'll extend my blessing. I want to help too! <laughs> Thank, Thank you, you so much. It appears the corruption has yet to spread to this tree. Using this as a vessel, I shall expand the Blessed Domain. You got it! Norman Power! Mm, huh? 
nothing. This? What happened? Failure. There's still a mega powerful Hellion running around near here. Where? The domain it's creating is in the way, and we can't stop the invasion of the lesser Hellions. A major Hellion? Where? To the southwest. It isn't far. Saray, we must defeat it. But if we leave the town in this state? With your guards all a-sleeping and your Hellions all a-creeping? Hmm. Saray? Sorry, I just blanked out for a second there. You need a rest. In. Now. Indeed. Good ideas will surely come after we take a breather. I think they know something's mm. wrong with him. The young shepherd's starting to deteriorate. Mm. I ought to be more understanding. Deteriorate? Deteriorate? Oh, she heard it. Blessing for Marlin region has been restored. Nice. Alicia? You look kind of tired. Thank you, but I'm fine. And you? Tonight was quite the ordeal. Maybe we could all do with a rest at the end. Alright, where's those two? Hey guys! Lila darling, you really found yourself a peach of a shepherd! <laughs> Good on ya! Why, thank you. You two go way back, don't you? There was a time once when the Norman Seraphim and I traveled together. Lila was like an idol to us. At one point, all 49 of us begged her to make us her sublords. You didn't go for it? Um, no. Let's all just be friends, Ooh. she told us. Friend zone. What a cruel woman. Well, <laughs> 49 is a bit much. The trauma nearly killed us. We all scattered over the globe to be alone with our melancholy. Oh. What? Surely that wasn't necessary. You sadistic harpy. <laughs> I don't think I'm a harpy. Ah, it's all good. Us Norman, we roll with life's punches. That just we means you get beat. We treasure it as a bittersweet memory from when we was carefree young'uns. This nostalgia trip is boring me, but it's true that Norman have useful abilities. If we find any more, let's catch him. It'd be sad if they turned into Hellions. I'd get a kick out of seeing my old buddies again. I promise we'll help you folks out. 49 people got friend zoned all at once. Good luck finding all my homies. <laughs> Don't worry, they're good people. Uh, though there is one who maybe needs to learn how to take a hint. <laughs> uh, Lord of the Land menu? Yes, sir. Um, we're gonna set a Norman here, which is attack. Uh, let's see. We're going to offer some items because I don't need 21 of those. I don't need that many. Anything? Okay, that's good. That's all I need. Basically, I just don't want to sell them, so just you know, dump them there. Set the boons real quick. Let's see. Attack becomes pretty useful as far as the game goes. Um, sanctification. I don't need that. I'll take that. Drop rate boost. Don't need that. Service of Norman. Don't need that. Take that. Resistant body. Maybe. Drop rate. Attribute defeat. Oh, take that one out. Put that one on. Service of Norman. Sure. I'll take that one. Let's see what we didn't pick up. Damage, nope, no, don't need those, miracle of life, okay, we're good, we still have a couple more to pick up, but that's for later, but attack, definitely good, and he'll be helping us out with, uh, with our skill farming now, I can walk faster, rest at the end for the night. Let's see. Do they have something new to say now that we killed the dragon? They do. I heard you yelling in the square a little while back. Are you practicing your sword skills at night? Impressive at your age. Uh, keep it up. 
A strong will is what's needed to see this illness beat. So basically, none of the humans are able to see us fight the dragon. Or the drake. A howling wind just blew through here. Could another storm be brewing? So yeah, we had a fight. But to them, you know, we were probably just practicing swings and no one could hear anything. Sheesh, I just hope we can get back on our feet and put this whole mess behind us. Oh, well, did that really need dialogue? Just being asleep? How's your I mean, there's nothing we can do for your daughter even though we're saving the town. I'm so sorry about my father's bad ma- what? Who the hell is talking at this point? I'd like to have them eat something that'll give them strength. Can we possibly discuss tomorrow's meals? Okay. I shall keep watch tonight so you can get some rest, father. If you'd like to take over for me in the morning, I'd be grateful. Yeah, take shifts. What about you? You're not going to give up, are you? Okay, I'll ask your father about it tomorrow. For tonight, just settle down and sleep, okay? Wait, are you the father of this girl? Mom, I can't sleep. Can I bring a book to bed, please? Oh, maybe she's not dead. Maybe she's just here. Well, that makes more sense. Still weird. Let's check on the rest of town, see if they're starting to feel better. But well, it is the middle of the night, so I don't know. I do like that there's an icon on top of their heads, so you always know when they have something new to say. It's incredible the efforts she's gone to. She's been taking care of the victims' meals practically sin single-handedly. She loves cooking, you know. She'd have to, she'd have to for her to keep serving up so much food for everyone. We just consider ourselves lucky that the family somehow managed to avoid being struck down. And after seeing the healthy folks stick with the town instead of fleeing to the hills, gives us the encouragement we need. That's true. The, the, the town pretty much stayed together and, uh, you know, supported each other through the plague. Good neighbors. And the people that ran? Fuck those guys. Screw them. Um, what about you? I'll take you home tonight, mister. Grab my arm and we'll head out the door. He's just drunk. He's just drowning his sorrows. I don't even think he's that bad, uh, that... You know, doing that bad. We'll be closing up soon. Good to know. Come on now, pull yourself together. You don't want to cause any more trouble for the owner, do you? She's got enough on her hands as it is. Here, can you get out of the way? There we go. Let's head to bed, right? Oh, hey, skill lecture. Could you tell me more about equipment skills? Way to have your head in the game. First, let's go over the basic skills. Basic skills can be broken down into 10 groups with 5 different elements. So in total, it's 10 times 5. Think you can do the math, genius? Nope. <laughs> there are 50 Norman named after the basic skill they offer. Each one has the power to draw forth that specific skill. So if you find a skill that you like, go find that Norman and send them off to the Lord of the Land to do that. your dirty work. Elements and skill groups aren't just for tweaking the effects of your skills. They're also closely linked to bonus skills. That's all the time we have for today. See you again next week. Next week? We're doing this again? It's episodic. Oh, actually, I forgot something. Let's go back outside. So let's go find some new friends. They won't be as cool as attack because I don't know how much they play into the story. But we have this guy right here. Uh, I can't get it, get like a close up of him. I guess that's as close as it gets. This one is defense. Got any equipment with open skills? I can make it nice and pretty. Oh, okay. Well, um, what's a good one? It has to be open though. I don't want to just drop it into something. Granted, these ones won't do much, won't give me much help, so. Oh yeah, you're gonna know this a lot. <laughs> Defense added to, uh, uh, Amber Sword. This'll fix you good. If you need more, just summon me to find the Lord of the Land. Or to the Lord of the Land. Got it. 
All right, we picked up defense. So we got to find all 49 of those guys, oh, 50 of those guys. <laughs> all right, we're going to go get another one that's over here, which I missed. Is he in here or is he in the grave? There he is. How are you? How are you doing? You just Are you just on the ground? Oh, look at him. Lazy bastard. Resist. Got any equipment? So what does he do? Art defense. Oh, go figure. He resists. Just drop it into that one. Okay. So we'll find resist somewhere else. Must resist. I wonder what the other names are. I know I got them before, but I don't remember. Putting slots to use. The Norman's powers sure are interesting. Not as much as their faces, though. Yes, the Norman's ability to assist is quite helpful, and each one has different capabilities. They all look the same, though. Its abilities change from combining them in different ways, right? They have bad attitudes, even though they're Norman. Yes, there should be increasing numbers of Norman which you could combine to make new effects. Norman times Norman equals Norman Hell. You sure have it in for the Norman, Edna. Not really. Just a bone or two to pick. By which I mean 77 confrontations, 108 complaints, and 32 appeals. That's all. <laughs> Sounds <laughs> complicated. That's a lot. Oh, Nico, since you're here. There's something we have to do. Fashion. Uh... Look at that. Evangelion. Uh, I think it, I think the only ones I have are Evangelion. Wait, why doesn't he have one? I guess he doesn't have one. This is... This is Isle Master. Which one's this one? Oh, this is just the... Damn it, what am I looking for? Oh, this one. Misato. Katsuragi. And then, of course, sweet Edna is going to be Ray. Because why not? Got the umbrella, though. Still fighting with an umbrella. So, it's going to be like this for a while. Who else? Oh, Lila. Lila, this is... Wait, no, wrong one. This one. And this one's from God Eater. I know, right? Nana. Uh, I think that's it for now. Oh, wait, hold on. I, I don't want to change back. I need to be the shepherd. Let me be the shepherd. There we go. So we got the shepherd. Everybody's dressed normally. Good. Let's go back. Just wanted to show Nico that. <laughs> Look at that. You could easily cosplay as this. I mean, it's not as intricate. Alright, let's go sleep the night. Let's see, what's a good one for effects? Max hit, Tala experience, gold. I actually don't need any of these. I just go cheap. Can't go wrong with meat and potatoes. He does have a, an interest in a lot of feather stuff. It does look nice though. He has like this glove that looks real nice. How are you feeling? The right one on the red. left. Good. We don't need a sick shepherd. That'd be bad! <sighs> wow. And precisely how long had you been saving that one? <laughs> <laughs> Looks like we've got our Saray back. The shepherd. Perfect oh, hey. timing. Agil! We heard about the bridge. You're a superstar! 
Well, you know. You know? Mm -hmm. Well, whatever. Anyway, we need you to sign for this. Why? Huh? Me? What is it? More medicine. It was ordered by a guy named Naif. Huh. But why See, am I signing? Up. We got this. Ha, I guess you're right. Don't sign? Also a message. I found a group of mercenaries headed toward Marland and asked them to protect the town, but they refused me. I have asked for additional reinforcements from Lady Lake, but it will take some time. That's all. Mercenaries. They might work in a pinch. Can mercenaries stand against the Hellions? Probably not the Hellhounds, but they might be able to handle lesser Hellions. They are vicious, but they are visible. And little. But they already refused the guard job. I could try asking again as sincerely as possible. Wouldn't hurt to go try. Thanks for passing along the message. Hey, why are you going through all this trouble anyway? Why? I mean, you can't just not help people in trouble. Hmm. I get it. Yeah. Cookie cutter good guy. I get that you're weird. Definitely. Now, where is the medicine going? The sanctuary. Gotcha. Yeah, my sanctuary. Oh, hey. You didn't happen to run into a group of mercenaries on the way here, did you? You mean the woodsmen? They came with us. I think they're probably still in town. They said they were going to stock up. Okay, let's go find the band of mercenaries and uh, hopefully they can protect the town. I think that's the goal right now, right? Ask the mercenaries to guard the town. Mercenaries are just soldiers for hire, right? And that's the general idea, yes. Is there any way we can get them to lend us their assistance, do you suppose? I wonder if there's a Norman called Protect. We're still setting up, so you'll have to hang on. You're our first repeat guest in ages, though. Are you, are you sure you're alright? <laughs> Oh hey, more about skills. Now then, this time we'll be covering skill groups. We are not going to talk about bonus skills. We are the ones doing the teaching around here. Shut up and listen. That's yes, cool for you. It wouldn't be prudent to explain everything at once, so I'll start off with the ones you can obtain in the beginning phases. So first, there's the status column. This increases basic stats by a certain percentage. Here, it's wise to improve upon your given strengths. Then there's the HP column. If you're prone to damage, it's best to improve on this. My head hurts. Or just don't get hit in the first place, doofus. Good call. But anyways, as you can see, aligning the same skill group together to carry out a tactical battle is one option that you have. And that's where the bonus skill comes into play. See you again next week. Next week again? <laughs> Alright, that's not helping. Whatever that is, whatever they're doing with the classes, not helping. Your food is hands down the best. I should know. I've been eating it since I was like this high. What? Who the hell is talking? The bartender, right? I, I guess he's young. So I guess the one that's crouched over there is a, is a cook. So we're missing soda water, milk, and juice. We better order it from the capital quick before we run out. You have a bar. And that's what you're running out of? Uh, granted, those are perishables, but still. Listen, Sonny. I know that you're at as happy as pie help is here. But don't go overboard now. So, you're telling me that guy, the one that's been drinking this whole time, drowning his sorrows, is now drinking the whole time, drowning his happiness. Oh, he's, he's, he's so good. I think he's just an alcoholic. I don't remember you being so outrageous. Just... Straight up an alcoholic, that's all. Alright, let's go see what the rest of the city's like now. They seem to be in a better mood. 
I heard this morning that Six seemed to be doing a little better today. I guess that now repairs have started on the bridge, more supplies can reach us. It looks like we might just break this curse at last. Reading is hard. Stay in school. Um, oh, they're not selling stuff. Uh, interesting. I'm sorry. I'm just looking over this invoice. We got an order from a whole band of mercenaries. Come back again soon, won't you? What is this one? How many times do I have to tell you, you, tell you muck buckets? Of course you're not going to get stronger if you just go around fusing your weapons at random. Where do you think you'll wind up if you torpedo your best bonus skills? Think ahead and lay out your basic skills in order to create and maintain bonus skills. It's about planning for the future. First, fill up your skill sheet, blah 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 blah, stack skills, got it, got you. It's something I never learned either. I think that the equipment system here is a bit weird. No sign of the salt and oil prices dropping yet. Nope, not for us. Gas is pretty high. I'm afraid, um... Well, I'll cope. But it'll be a relief when we finally pull through this disaster, let me tell you. Okay, uh, more people to talk to. We've had a big delivery of medicine, so things are looking up. My commander wishes to let you know he means to come and express his gratitude in person soon. Oh, is this because uh, whoever this person is married to has been helping out with the plague? Oh, hey, people different people sounds like they're full they're full up with orders placed from the capital well with all this play going around I guess I can't say I'm surprised all right uh, oh, oh hey people are here let's talk hurry and get your supplies we can't be wasting time in a crazy town like this one what happened wild dogs were attacking the sanctuary but these guys put them down Damn, they're good. Gotta admit, that was some fine teamwork. Dead dogs, though. Those dogs are Hellions. And no pushovers, either. Well, for a human, anyway. Excuse me, may I ask you a favor? Huh? You're talking to the woodsman, bub. We don't do babysitting. And we won't get your kitty out of a tree. It's about a job only you guys can handle. I'm the leader, Lucas. What's this job you speak of? We want you to protect Marlin for a little while. Yeah, we were asked that before, but turned it down. Ain't taking no chances guarding over a place that's diseased. Hey, boss. The kid you're talking to is the shepherd. The miracle bridge maker? This scrawny little duckling? You're pulling my chain, right? First of all, how the hell does he know that? Barely anybody knows the description of the shepherd. We found a way to bring Marlin back to how it was, but we have to leave town to do it. And the guards here aren't in a condition to fight because of the epidemic. So you want us to handle it, huh? We do the grunt work so you can get the glory. Is that how it is? It's nothing of the sort. Huh, so you say. What do you need? Let me tell you something, Mr. Shepherd. Money talks and horse crap walks. If you're serious about it, put your cash on the table. Then we'll talk. I mean, they are mercenaries. It costs 5,000 gold to employ the woodsman. How about it, Mr. Shepherd? Well, uh, So, there's really no other way to do this. You do have to spend 5,000 on them. So, um, we gotta pay them. Well, well. You can basically delay it and say, look for, you know, Look for another way, but there is no other way. It's just, you have to pay him to progress the story. You have to make the money to show your sincerity to the uh, to the mercenaries. Because it is money for them. You gotta, you gotta have money for all these people. He's the leader, but that doesn't mean he, the money goes to him. It goes to arming these people, me, keep making sure that they're fed, 
A lot of money from groups doesn't just go to the higher ups. Looky here, the shepherd comes through. Guess we really can trust you after all. You trust whoever gives you money? And what else, pray tell, should be my motivation? Duty, chivalry? Let's say this epidemic kills one of my subordinates. Will duty and chivalry step in to take care of his grieving family? W well But if I have money, I can make sure they've got a safety net. That's the kind of contract I have with my team. And that's why in return, they're willing to put their lives on the line. <sighs> you Casually, there's just dead dogs on the floor. You need to start facing reality, sister. Facing reality, huh? So, you want us to guard the town, huh? We'll take the job, but on one condition. In return... Can we do whatever we want to this town while you're away? Saray, are you sure about this? It's fine. No one who values contracts so highly would do anything sleazy. You pass the test. All right, you bums, we got a job to do. We're staying in Marland and guarding it. Alpha and Bravo squad secure the perimeter. Charlie handle things in town. I'll go tell the guards what's up. These orders come from the shepherd himself. Don't slack off out there. <laughs> What's this? Your change. It's our policy to accept a reasonable price for the job we do. Well, they're cheaper than we imagined. <laughs> we may not good look people. at it, but we value our customers. They're good people. They're a bit rough. They they did used uh, you know 2500 but that's enough leave the security of this town to us we're on top of things make sure you handle your end of the bargain that's right we, we still have to save the town let's see what they got over here i'd heard the rumors but the town is in an even worse state than i thought the old and the young have been hit the worst and there's far more dead than i've been told yeah the plague has a uh, has taken its toll it's all going to be okay. I'm getting your dinner now. Just hang out. He's talking to your horse. Okay. Well, you know. Friendship, right? Granted, these horses have served you well, so take care of them. Talk about muddy. There was more of a swamp than a road. Uh, I'm feeling it in my legs now. Yeah. Uh, running in through a swamp sucks. Running on the beach, sand, not great. So we found two of uh, attacks buddies, and now we have to leave town so we can beat the hellion that's preventing uh, just dead dogs. <laughs> just uh, <laughs> really threw me off. We have to go out and beat the hellion that's preventing us from purifying the town, or putting it under Rohan's uh, domain. Some people have got. Have you even gotten their appetite back? As long as people can eat, they'll be okay. Trust me. Good. It's good to see that people are progressing. Oh, you're back here now. Grandpa, Naif has arrived. Everybody in town will be okay now. I mean, you passed away, but the rest, they'll be okay. Your Highness, this morning a number of merchants and military dignitaries from the capital arrived. It seems our worries over medicine and food supplies will no longer be an issue. I, I'm sure these guards have been scared. Been being stationed there only to find out that you're in a plague town? Not great. That's all we need. You overworking and injuring yourself. Look, it's no longer a do or die situation here. So put your energy into getting well, you hear? These two, best bromance. With the bridge fixed, help is finally on its way. I just wish I could pitch in instead of sitting on my uh, my rear all, end all day. On my ass. That's what, you're, that's what you're trying to say. Your ass. It's okay, you can say that. 
Oh good, a decent amount of medicine has finally arrived. This might just be our salvation. Along with the medicine, we also received a decent supply of food, everyday necessities, and medical supplies. This should see us through, at least for the moment. Plus, we're seeing the afflicted symptoms die down. Mom, I'm hungry. Well, that's good. She has an appetite now. Okay, okay. The food's arriving soon. Be a good boy and wait for mom. That's a boy? Thought that was this guy's daughter, but uh, I, I guess that's not how it works. So that that guy that was slumped over, his daughter is actually dead. Okay, understood. I thought that was the same kid, but um, yeah, yeah, not great. All right, I think we've talked. To oh, the shop's open now. Let's just go buy something. You should have something new, right? Oh, it's on sale. Gotta buy it. Uh, I don't own one of these, so I'll buy one. I'm running out of money. I say that, but it's not true. But, you know, it's a thing. Uh, I'll buy these because I don't have any of these. And, you know what? These are cheap. I'll just buy them all. Screw it. Actually, no. No. Cancel. I'll buy this one that has Art Attack. Mm, that's a lot of... You know what? Buy that one. That one's nice, actually. I don't need the rest of these. Yeah, I'll buy that. That blouse. That one was nice. Okay. So now, we are heading outside. The woodsmen are all right by me. It looks as if they were testing our worthiness. It may not have gone quite the way we expected, but at least the town is safe for the time being. The Hellion is southwest of Marlin, right? Mm hmm? Uh, Glaven Basin is southwest of here, but that's quite a distance. Closer in that direction are the Boar's Ruins. I think that this, that sounds likely, don't you? After all, Rohan said that he sensed it. Uh, he sensed it wasn't too far away. Okay, so we're going to Boar's Ruins. Let's go. We can finally leave the city. Alright. And while we're doing this, we gotta look for a buddy of ours somewhere. This is where we're going here. That's Boar's Ruin. But, looking for... Hey! Hello, red one. This is Mind. Got any equipment with open skills? What does Mind do? Gives Art Attack. Okay, good. Let's see. I can give Art Attack to that one, or... You know what? Yeah, you can have that one. Okay, now we got Mind that increases magic power. Alright, we're done in this area, and we're gonna go to where we're supposed to. Which is the Boar's Ruins. I think this is it. My hair's standing on end. There's something lurking deep inside here. Yes, even I can sense something wrong here. Wait, shoot, we gotta go back. I missed something. I don't like missing things, so we gotta go back. There's a skit that I need to pick up. See, this is always bad. You gotta check everything. But the skits really do add substance to the story, so I need to do them. But we gotta go to the end to do it. Which makes it kind of out of the way and missing it is a bit of an issue for me. Alright, let's go. There it is. So, that was Lucas and the Woodsman, huh? They sure are a funny bunch. It seems people form bonds in more ways than I realized. Their logic makes sense, though, if you buy their premises in the first place. Those who give themselves completely to what they believe in are all the more pure for doing so. It's true that I felt no malevolence from them. You mean malevolence doesn't spring merely from the distinction between right and wrong? Even a villain might not bear any malevolence, specifically because they believe so thoroughly in their villainy. Yeah, <sighs> man. 
This malevolent stuff is tricky business. Well, be assured at least that it's a very good thing you're so concerned about it. I think it's good too, Saray. Though it's a fine line between pure and naive. Can't argue with you there. <laughs> ah, this is making my brain hurt. I don't think there's much of a line. I think he's just straight up naive. But he is the shepherd in the purest human uh, outlook of life. So that's why he became the shepherd. And he is, he has, what do you call it? Affinity with the seraphim. So basically, Saray and Alicia are humans, and Mikleo, Lila, and Edna are seraphim, which is more akin to spirits and ghosts. Spirits, not really ghosts. So most normal humans won't be able to see them and all the actions that they do. But that gives Saray the supernatural powers that makes him the shepherd. And uh, the humans won't be able to understand that because that's what uh, that's just what it is. Just watch the story. It's better better explanations there. I'm terrible at these things. Shall we begin? My gathering flames. All right, why is Edna not on the team again? Hang on, everyone. Beast thought we yeah, dreamed. Okay. There's still more. Let us relish this victory and sally forth. The hell is Sally? Alright, let's put Edna in there. We can keep Mikleo this time, but we're gonna put Edna in there. She should never be left out. Also, yep, Edna and Alicia. You know what? No, let's put... Let's put Lila in there. She needs some screen time. Let's begin the purification month, month, loser. Go back to sleep. Flow and surge! Not yet! Your fate. Hang on, everyone! I ha. did it! That's My the way! Better look tomorrow. Time to rock out. Earth race. Is it over? I'm kind of tired. Oh, wow. Uh, it's a maze. Um, I'm not so much auto-attacking. I kind of put the game on auto. I could play a bit, but... Right now, everything's on control mode auto. So I can do manual, so I can pick whatever attacks are played, but it's just easier to play on auto, because I'm lazy. Let's see. So basically, in the game, you can strategize. You can make them do their own things, target enemies, tactics, how often they attack, how often they heal. But for the most part, I'm just gonna leave with the default, and this is so, this so far is the default. I haven't touched any of it. So I'd like to think that they're playing the way that the character is set up to represent the story, or to represent their actions. So I don't know. I like it better that way. Very well. How about you, knaves? It's we a moving plant. The Hellions don't always reside in animals. Also, I need to fix this camera zoom. Let's see. Is this how oh, that's a zoom out as it gets? That's not great. Yeah, okay. Nothing I can do about it then. That's as far away as it can get. I'd like a better overlook of the game, but. This is my time! My class! Mystic Art. And stay down. Terra mine. Worthless. My sweet. Apparently, the AI in this game is pretty bad. But mm, I think if I'm over leveled enough and I just do equipment properly, I should be fine. At least for the main story. The optional and the extra dungeons may be a bit of an issue, but who knows. A worthy opponent. White heat. All right. Time you learn some. Shut up. They're missing. They're missing really bad. Just get him down. 
Okay, that's why they're that. That's why they're bad. In winning this way. Watch the umbrella. Just have it hypnotize you. Okay, moving on. Got nothing else to work with. Let's see. Got an item. So there's always um, cosmetic items around the world. Always. So. Because this game is a lot about fashion, apparently. Well, most Tales games are now. Ever since, what, Zillia or something like that? I know they had costume titles, but that's that's older. Fight me! Do we really need to do this? Yes. Try this on. Well, Not yet. Really. Still more. I Whoa. must try harder. Brendan Gale. Weak. Just, the screen was just all hey, fire. Hey. There's nothing you could do about that. Give me strength. Because the game doesn't so really. This is the power of purification. My powers aren't much, but I try. The game doesn't really have a battle like screen. I guess something like this is right. So it uses the environment for most of the battles. So wherever you are, that's where the battle initiates. But that's also a negative. So if you're stuck in a corridor or right next to a wall, not in the mood. But just oh kind of well. dead. End of the line. Break circle. You're just gonna be looking at the wall. Pretty good, right? That's the way. You're using a lot of trigger. mystic arts. Shutter and fall down. We'll be gone. Wait, trigger. Goose, let's get him. They are everyone. Make you vulnerable. Soul side thing. Let's get him. Frozen Hear the storm. Quick circle. They are everyone. There's a lot of dialogue. Be gone. Your words shall make you vulnerable. Magwalk, it's hard enough to keep track. Crash down. Shadow shock. Let's get him. Purification complete. Nice. All right. Now we get to uh, look at this one. Found a new discovery point. Husk of an ancient structure. And it's crawling with hellions. Hmm. This forest was a ruin too. We haven't found a ruin yet that wasn't crawling with hellions. The malevolence really is widespread. I'm sorry. <sighs> it tears me up inside seeing all these ruins defiled. But if we purify the Hellions while we explore the ruins, isn't that like two birds with one stone? Think about how jealous of our adventures literally every other historian and archaeologist will be. You're such a sweet, simple soul. You know that? <laughs> huh? You're right. Fretting over this won't get us any closer to our answers. We should all take a page out of Miklio's book and laugh at our worries. And if Saray thinks you're happy-go-lucky, I think Miklio's in shock. <laughs> Let's get going, touchy-feely Miklio. Hey, you're doing this on purpose. Or for short, touchy-feelio. No, no <laughs> nicknames. Wow, touchy-feelio. Got ourselves an elixir. Could this be... Elixir? The all-healing panacea made by Mount Tellus? Oh my, what a delightful butterfly. Whoops, I guess it's random o'clock again. Anyway, the elixir, you think it's the real thing? According to the celestial record, the methods used to make elixir were lost ages ago. And look, an icky beetle going creepo crawl a creepo crawl. I guess we won't know for sure unless we try it. You think that's safe? It'll just be a drop. Whoa. I feel rejuvenated. It is the real thing. Nice. Wish we could just buy this at the store. That'll be difficult. The only remaining elixir left in the world of humans is in custody of the church. The church, huh? <laughs> Ran out of bugs, I take it. But why is the church hoarding all the elixir? Also, Lila still can't tell us uh, much of anything. If, she, if it's something that she can't talk about, she'll always... Um, Talk about random stuff. It's up to us to purify the Hellion in this forest. And then Marlin will be blessed once again. <laughs> we must see this thing to its end, whatever it takes. Whatever it takes. Lila's not a dumb dumb. She's just 
withholds information by saying dumb dumb things to distract you from all the smart smart things. Yeah, let's go with that. I'll take take two. Take two sounds better. Guess we should do this. May your soul you will be gone. Sweet dreams. Wonderful. Not yet. Flames death. Gravity rules everything. I did it. Purification complete. Wait, what the hell just happened? Did I backtrack or something? How did I end up here? Oh, okay. So I can go this way. And then this should be a dead end, right? Oh, hey! Is he sleeping? Hello? Speary. What does Speary give me? It gives me focus. Okay, well, I don't need it. Um, uh, what's a good one? I don't know what focus is. Let's put it on the magic one. Here, you can have that. Alright, we picked up Speary. Edna will always be the savage of the team. Saray is the hero, of course. And uh, Mibo, Miklio, is... Uh, okay, maybe, maybe maybe not Sasuke. I was gonna, I was gonna go more with the warrior, you know? He likes to worry about the rest of the party. Not warrior. Warrior. <laughs> Sasuke, though. Um, where am I going? Okay, alright. Well, that's a pretty straightforward dungeon. Let's go this way first. Because we always walk around the longer path. I think that went pretty well. Right. Let's do this fight faster. There we go. Don't get careless. That way I don't have to do two fights. I can just do one longer one. I must try harder. Right. Well done. So I cross. I command me. Right. Your words shall make you vulnerable. That was a lot cooler than I thought it'd be. Flare vortex. Not yet. I did it. Nice job, Nicklia. You've been slacking off, haven't you? Might be a Sasuke. Definitely not a Shikamaru. Uh, apple gel. Alright. Uh, yep, of course this is blocked because why? It's the shortcut to the boss. We won't be able to get through that until later parts of the game. Alright, fight me. Fight me. Fight me too. Let's go. Three of you. Let's go. Get over here. There we go. I shall protect everyone. I think I got all three. How careless of me. Shudder and fall to the earth. Pyre light to rainbow. A sword of flames to Try this on. No way. Uh, we're getting destroyed, by the way. There we go. It's over. This is my time. Light blast. I don't know why her mystic art gives people an upskirt. It's like, yeah, here you go. Edna still has the best healing in the game. Love her to bits. She's always going to be on the party. Edna, no! Save her! Must protect. This doesn't end. We probably killed like twelve already. Not yet. Renting Gale. All right. Fangs around you. Save her. All right, Edna, can you not be in the corner, please? Go be somewhere they can protect you, or at least somewhere that you know they can have access to you faster. What a formidable opponent! But hey. We cleared three enemies. <laughs> thorny... Thorny Vest. Okay, sure. I don't know what kind of uh, stats it has, but I'm sure it's better than what we're wearing right now. Let's go this way. Can't go that way. What's over there? There's a chest over there. There's an enemy over there too, but I can't find him. Oh. We ignore. And we come back. There's a save point. This is the block path that we have. Okay, so we save. I'm definitely saving. 
Um, hmm. Let's save this one. That's like the oldest save. And then, of course, like any good heroes in action, we're going to go eat a snack to make sure that we're going to be topped off during this fight. Let's go with defense. Oh, no, let's go with... Ooh, I don't know. Uh, no, those are too good. We'll leave that alone. We'll just go with, like, plus 8 attack. That's, that's good. 8% attack? That should keep us safe. Ready? Yes! It's a plant! Vermilion Ring! Is this like the plant boss of the area? No, it looks like a mutant hellion, like Ouroboros! Mutant hellion? It's probably the effect of the anomalous orbs. Just like the ones Knight Arthur and Echidna had. Let's keep our guard up. Your main tank is just 1v1ing a, a minion. Go fight the boss! There you go. He's finally on there. Come on, Saray, help us out here. Try this on. Experience leads to confidence. Who's next? Not too bad. Pretty good grade. Power links. Without any given group, there may be a number of low-ranked enemies. Never look. Uh, power links with each other, enormously inflating their power and making them immune to status ailments. Defeat it. Defeat a linked enemy to sever and disable the power. Got you. I don't actually remember that. Now the blessing should return to Marlin. Well, Saray. Saray. Eat this! Why didn't we do that? Alicia! You couldn't see it, could you? So the Squire's Pact is affecting you. No, I just wasn't paying attention. Alicia and Miklio nearly died because of you. Well, I'm not dead, and Saray was only hiding it for Alicia's sake. I understand that, but even so... He's at his limit. I know. Saray... Alicia! Thank goodness. Don't worry about me. It looks like we were able to expand Rohan's domain. Well, that's that. Let's get out of here. Yeah, I do want to check in on Lucas's crew. Here. Thanks. So the cracks are starting to show that there's adverse side effects about taking Alicia as your squire. Um, basically right now he's shouldering the, the burden of giving limited power to the squire and it's making his condition worse between what Rohan said about him deter deteriorating and just now what they said about the squire's pack affecting him. Just the fact that he wasn't able to see that or his vision's blurring, he's having loss of strength at certain points. It's getting worse. Alicia, how are you holding up? Does it still hurt? I'm... I'll be fine. 
Forgive me. I'm sorry for worrying you. She's great from start to finish. I... I'd ship him. That's, that's all I can really say. She's fantastic. Nothing here? Alright, I guess I'm just going back. And also, now that the domain is uh, cleared up, I think we can fast travel now, right? Fast travel to Marland. It cost us like 543, but... Screw it. We'll walk. We'll save some money and walk. I'll just ignore enemies. Oh, actually, I killed them all, so it's really just a walk. I mean, she's a knight, first and foremost, but she's also a princess of her country. Um, she cares about the people without even, you know, regarding her status as the princess. It just exploded on its own. I forgot I can't go this way. Damn it. I'm terribly sorry. I've wasted valuable ingredients. Look at that. She's even apologizing for not being able to cook. It's okay. I can only make a couple noodles. We can outrun all these. It's fine. I should be fighting them just for the, the money and the equipment. The equipment. Nope, it's, it's too late. It's moving on. We'll get better equipment later. Alright, let's go back. See? The place, brighter, nicer skies. Let's make sure everybody's safe. But for the moment, it seems like the plague is done. We've saved the people. Uh, who do we talk to? We leave Lucas. Of his duty. We leave Lucas of his duty. There's a lot more people now. Uh, which way do we have to go, actually? That way? Alright. Let's start talking to people from this side, and we'll make our way that Oh, I thought they were, like, crossed together. Alright, let's start with you. I don't think we need to worry from here on out. There'll be time to mourn both our grandmothers... But for now, we can feel relieved the little ones are through the worst of it. Both your grandmothers died? Sorry. Didn't mean to uh, have an outburst there. I'm relieved to see that those mercenaries are a good and polite lot. Good. Any skits? Nope. No skits. Oh, hey! This is different. I'm so sorry for getting out of hand recently. I'm going to go and apologize to the owner of the inn straight after this. Are you drinking? So we need whiskey, brandy, a, ma a mango lic liquor, liquor, and what else? Oh yes, wine for the funerals. Probably shouldn't sound happy about that. The town is in need of a few things, but prices haven't gone up so far. Well, this is the chance to build new business opportunities. The foundation for any good business is doing something consistently and for the long term. I mean, as long as they give them a fair price, they're probably going to make new customers out of Marland. People that stuck by you through a plague? Good people. Starting to feel like the worst of the plague is over. A lot of houses had their roofs damaged in the, in the recent downpour. We'll need to buy new boards, gra grass for thatching, and waterproof varnish in, the lar in large quantities. What do you think about knocking down the price a bit, since we'll be paying for it all at once? Yeah, I mean, sell in bulk. Go to a Costco, buy a hot dog. We finally got everything we need. I think we'll be okay. They'll manage. Still, you and your father are so picky. Never met a pair of rascals so hard to please. Oh, he still has nothing to say. He. He sticks by what his uh, father and his armor did. Uh, anything nice? Firepower. This isn't that bad. Although it is a rod. So the rod is used by Miklio, who's water. So fire attack power, not great. 
Um, let's see. KO protection? Why do you have Phoenix already? Uh, I kind of don't need any... Oh, that's art defense. Art attack. I'll just buy the stuff that I don't own. There we go. Right? Yep. Let's leave. Are they still talking about... Nope. I thought they were talking about skills still. It looks like having the mercenaries here is good for business. Maybe we'll be able to save a bit on our expenses now. Okay. Uh, anybody else to talk to? Nobody down there, right? Yep, nobody down there. Let's see what these people say. I'm glad you're all better, Alka. Alka? Daddy was saying how happy he was. Uh... That that nice man helped us. Which one? Is it me? Can it be me? Because I'm nice. What about you? You've been so much help. Please come back again, won't you? I'll introduce you to the rest of my squad, just like I promised. Are you kidding on her? Oh, there's this guy. I'm not talking to you yet. I gotta talk to these people. The manager of the inn says there are still more than 10 funerals to hold for the plague victim. 10 funerals? You might say this is all part of the healing process, but that don't make it any less painful to deal with. A lot of people apparently died, but only 10 still? Oh, 10 left. It looks like we're going to be put through the paces again. We'll keep our eyes peeled, but you gotta pull your weight too, okay? Talking to the horse, got it. Now the grass is dried, it's easier for the carts to move, and fresh green shoots are starting to spring up. Good news, huh boys? Talking to the horses, gotcha. Oh, there's more people here now too. Hey! Gracious, how long has it been since the sun has shone like this? I wonder. The clouds and the plague have been swept away, and now we have bright blue skies above us. Huh. Okay, what about you guys? Is Nafe here yet? We ended up passing a lot of work onto our town representative during the plague. Starting now, we citizens should work together to get things done. Wait, was it Naif, your town representative? With all the medicine we purchased, the town's funds are nearly dried up. Sure, it was an emergency, but what do we do when th there's roofs to repair and taxes to pay? Uh, you ask your, kin your kingdom for money. That's No, don't do that. That's not how it works. Eventually, they'll just put somebody else in power and uh, raise taxes. That's how it works. Oh, Shouldn't we be going, Mom? Grandma will worry if we're late. Wait, Grandma's alive then. Good. But who's in there? Oh, she has a weird haircut. She has that short, gear, short girl haircut. Short girl? Short hair... Short... Short girl, nope. Girl short haircut. Sure, let's go with that. My brain stopped working. Oh look, they, they fixed the pews. No, that's not the pew, what's that called? The benches. So many dead. It brings tears to the eyes of this helpless old man. Yeah, but we saved the rest of them. Isn't that enough? There's nothing we can do about the people that have uh, have already died but we can at least save the ones that are still alive please spare my father who are you talking about? oh your dad your dad's an old man who's sick okay I'm I, I'm starting to understand your daughter is still dead though got it our little one is right as rain again I can't thank you enough I don't understand right as rain in the next few days, patrols on Grifflet Bridge and along the main roads will be resumed. I shall now read out the names of the six who will be appointed to this task for the moment. Ensure you are at your post within the hour. Okay, so they're putting military pressure, um, pressure, presence. So uh, it's safer for all the trading going from Lady Lake or from anywhere else to the town. That way the town is able to uh, get back on its feet a lot faster. Because, um... 
securing trade routes is actually a pretty big deal with city management and, and all that. For the moment, we buried the dead in the ground, but I hope we can avoid having to give them a group funeral. Yeah, there are people that should be buried by themselves and, you know, have their loved ones look after them. There are still many funerals left to be held. We must hurry, for the sake of all the bereaved families. Yeah, there has to be some rotting corpses now, right? Okay, let's talk to, uh, what's your name? Lucas? Lucas, right? Hey there, Shepherd's Pie. As you can <laughs> see, everything here is hunky-dory. Thanks. I knew you could handle it. How'd it go? We managed. Good to hear it. Then I guess it's time for us to pack up and ship on out. The guards are trickling back onto duty, and we've got a new job lined up already. Shall we take a break at the end for a spell? Sure. I'm sure we'll bump into one another somewhere someday. If it's as enemies on the battlefield, though, uh, rest assured, I won't hold back. <laughs> yeah, you, you, you better look out for us. If that ever does happen, you better hope that he holds back on you. Also, there should be something here that we need to pick up. Oh, hey. Where is that? I saw it. There it is. Found a new discovery point. Flowers of the Greek tree. Look, Saray. There are flowers blooming in the great tree. Marland, the scholarly city of the holy great tree. At the treetop bloom the fruits of knowledge and art. As with these flowers, may the culture of education and art likewise blossom again. Yeah. How noble. <laughs> oh, I hope I'm not allergic to knowledge. It's probably just pollen. Okay. Um, here's Rohan. Let's talk to him real quick. Hey, how's it going, Shepard? Uh, you can see the great trees starting to get some life back in it. That's it? Alright, fine, fine. Um, let's head to the inn then. Right, rest at the inn in Marland. We pretty much talked to everybody. We're good to go. Or, so people say, right as rain. I still don't understand that. Right as rain. It's gonna be bugging me for a while now. That's right. Worst of the plague is over. Let's get in here. Uh, I guess we sleep. Let's sleep. Let's just take it easy for today. And tomorrow, we'll be leaving Marland? Yeah, that's the idea. Why? Mm? What? Why? Why what? Huh? A seraph? So you are with this one. Why aren't you staying in Marland? What is your problem? Silence, brat. I'm asking the shepherd. What does he want? Why are you throwing away the name you've earned for yourself from saving this town? Why throw yourself away like this? We've done all we can here. And I have more to learn elsewhere. That's all. How odd. You too. <laughs> Who were they? I don't know. But this means there are other humans who dwell with Seraphim besides me. Though they're assassins. <laughs> well, I say the hell with them. The more important issue is where we're headed next. Thought about it? 
I have. The Roland's Empire. Splendid idea. Hellions and ruins alike know no borders, after all. Trail. Um, we have an issue with that. The Roland's Empire currently is at war with Highland. And, um, how do you say this? Alicia being the princess of Highland kind of makes it hard for her to travel there. <sighs> Not just me, right? Oh, another lecture. We sure have had some fantastic weather lately. On that note, it's time to continue our skill lecture. <laughs> if you say so. Today's lesson is about bonus skills. Aren't you ecstatic? 50. Uh, sure. You can probably enact a couple skills without even thinking too much about it. But from the combination of basic skills you use comes... Wait for it. Bonus skills! But hullabaloo aside, the way it works is actually super simple. There are only three special rules. There's stack, a bonus that activates when you equip the same skill multiple times. Lumping them together like that will give you a little extra boost. The effectiveness will vary based on how many of the same skill you stacked, but at the end of the day, it produces only one stack bonus. So when you equip four of the same skills, the stack for the second or the third ones don't occur. Next, when you equip all five skills belonging to the same group, you have a group union. For this one, you'll need to have collected all five skills of a specific column. The bonus skill will further enhance those skills' effects. And lastly, there are elemental unions, which trigger when you place skills of the same element next to each other, but... Oops, out of time. See you again next week. <laughs> Seriously? Got it. I, I don't think I got it, but got it. As long as we don't have to go through that again, got it. But anyway, let me show you what they're talking about, though. This is... What do you call that? This is a bonus skill that gives you plus 20 to all stats. It's a G skill. Whatever. And then there's one where if you have them next to each other, and that's an E, an e union. Or, you know, G union. E union. And then the more you have on w one specific one, then it stacks. Something like that. Who knows? We're moving on. <laughs> Basically, material. Saray, but let us give our a lot more complicated than the others. Right. Good thinking. <sighs> All right. It looks like something's on her mind. Alicia? Hmm. Alicia seems to be having uh, some internal issues that she's not voicing out to the rest of us. I wonder what it could be. Knowing uh, our next our next destination might be an issue. Wait, what is that? What the hell is that? What are those blue points? Um, hello? Snacks are ready. What's up, guys? I was on my way to the Boar's Ruins when my dad caught me. Worst luck ever. I was super stoked to find some of those sparkling stones. Oh well, stupid grown-ups. A shiny, pretty stone. Does make me curious. It might be some sort of artifact. Wait, are we doing that? What's the other one? Uh, okay, I mean, I know there's one there. What about you? Oh, well, I can't talk Lady to that guy. Lila, you're back! You folks done fix this place right up! Little by little, people are coming back to worship the great tree. You can trust I will do my part as well. That's good. We can take our leave in peace. Huh? Aw, no, y'all are running out on us? You take care, Attack. Attack? 
I I'm staying behind. Huh? After all, we need to find someone to properly give tribute to Rohan. Alicia, you don't mean. And I have to report to Lady Lake about what happened in Marland. Things with the Council have just settled down, and if you're with me, you'll just get wrapped up in it again. I would love to continue our travels, but I... Well? Thank you so much, Alicia. Same to you. For everything, Saray. Get a room, you two. <laughs> it's not like you won't see each other again. I shall do my best to work toward a highland with no malevolence. And I'll keep chasing my dream. Um. Bye. Safe travels. Y'all come back now, you hear? Alright, don't ruin the moment. Um, there goes Alicia. Uh, well, we'll see her again. Someday. Uh, yeah, let's go talk to this guy, I guess. I heard that there's these sparkling stones lying around deep inside Boar's ruins. I don't know if they're worth anything though. It's hard to say if it'd be worth the trouble to go all the all that way to find them. Okay, everybody's talking about these stones. I want to see if there's anything over here though. So um we have an issue right now. Because the way this game works is that you have to have a human as your as your other party member. Because otherwise, see this? This means that only Edna is able to be in battle. It's only going to be Saray and Edna. Until... Uh, uh, now there's only one human. Not great. There's nothing in here, right? Change floors. Okay, there's nothing here. Let's just leave. But yeah. Bye, Alicia. Okay, so what else? I talked to that guy. Talk to that. Oh, there's one more over there. Also, we'll also check the sanctuary too. Make sure uh, we got all the side quests here. It seems like they're talking about stones. Oh, look at them! Just randomly watching people over there. Let's go in here and make sure there's no side quests. I kind of don't want to do side quests while there's only one human. No side quest? Good. Everybody's talked to? Fantastic. Chocolate pudding! Oh, here's another guy. What's up, man? Iris gems, you say? I think Naif, the town representative, had one. He said he keeps it as a sort of lucky charm. Oh, so I gotta talk to Naif. Naif has a, an iris gem for me. Um, excuse I, me? I have a message. It's urgent. Hey, hang in there! The Empire! The Roland's Empire is attacking! What? So the war has begun. Please, pass the warning to the people of Marland. I have to get to the capital. You're injured. It's too dangerous. There's no time to waste. Send them off. See you, Mr. Revere. Be careful. Don't do anything reckless. Oh. He healed him. Thank you. Yeah. Nice guy. Tell everyone. 
He just sneakily healed him. All right, you bums. Play time's over. Let's go show those frou-frous in the capital what we're made of. I'm going. Yeah, I couldn't live with myself if we let these folks just run out to get slaughtered. You mustn't! If the Shepherd enters the heart of battle, the camp he extends his help to will surely be victorious. So what, we just sit quietly and watch? Yep, it's up to the Earth Dwellers to figure out some sort of compromise with each other. But with the Shepherd's power, I know I could save people. You might save the people of Highland, yes. However... The people of Rollins wouldn't be so lucky is the flip side. Correct. That's the nature of war. War knows neither justice nor malice. The power of the Shepherd greatly shapes the world itself. Were you to enter the war, there's no telling how warped it could become. All right. I do want Lucas and his group to take refuge along with the villagers. Will that be okay? Yes. Then let's talk to Lucas at once. They sounded like they were getting ready to leave any second now. Okay. So, basically, war is about to break out. But, considering how powerful the Shepherd is, if he does join... Saray, don't forget about the library key. Oh, right. I need to return it to Nath. If he joins the fight, on whatever side he joins, that side's gonna win. He's that strong. But, yeah, he could be fighting the same people, but he's killing the other people. And sending them to basically their doom. Anybody that loses a war is bound to suffer, you know, suffer casualties. Um, the other, the winning side will be able to demand what they want to take from them. So it's best that there's no fighting, but the shepherd should not lean towards one side. That's been the idea of, of the seraphs for a while now. We gotta talk to Nafe. Nave! Oh, Soray. I came to return this. It's from Agatha. The lady that was selling the books. Key to the library. Thanks and sorry to trouble you. When I grow up, I'm gonna be like Maltran. I'm gonna be the second blue Valkyrie. Boys can't be Valkyries, dummy. <laughs> if Maltran's teaching anyone, it's gonna be me. She's not going to teach you. Your clothes aren't even blue. <laughs> they will be once I finally get my mom to buy some. Someone's oh, popular. Kids. It's because Lady Maltran actually comes from Marland. She only became heir to her line when all the other successors passed away. Passed away peacefully or passed away with uh, circumstances? And while her sense of responsibility was second to none... She was quite a frail young girl. She has trained herself very rigorously. And now she is the Blue Valkyrie. So they're opposites. What? Nothing. You just clarified something for me. Oh, <laughs> I don't really get it. But I'm glad I could be of help to the Shepherd. I had one more thing I wanted to ask. Have you heard of Iris Gems? Iris Gems? We have one. I just enshrined it in the sanctuary as an offering for the town's restoration. Can we borrow it? There's something we're investigating. I wouldn't dream of refusing the shepherd's request. Please, keep it as long as you like. Thank you. I mean, what are you going to say? He's the shepherd. Of course he's going he's gonna to help you out. The iris gem is in the sanctuary. You're welcome to it. You got it. Anybody else down this way? No. Okay. We're not going to talk to Lucas just yet. We're going to avoid him as much as we can. I want to make sure to get these uh these subplots done. Uh nothing over there. Let's go to the sanctuary. There it is. It's just behind this gentleman. The mighty Roland's army prepares to march to war. The soldiers cheer their general.
Miklio, what do you think it means? The king was handing a sword over. Pretty clear that it was some formal military ceremony. And I imagine the person receiving the sword was a general. The uniform would suggest a general of the Roland's Empire. It's hard to say exactly when this took place, though. Whoever he was, he sure looked like a hero. But what does it mean? It's not like that's a particularly uncommon type of scene, historically speaking. If we could see more, we might get a better idea as to why this scene showed up. Do you think there are any more? I don't know, but let's try to find them. I mean, hidden glimpses of history? How cool is that? I mean, it doesn't sound all that insignificant. Having a general be basically promoted and him mobilizing his troops, that means that people died because of that man. That man caused the, the deaths of whoever basically goes against him. Or even his troops. Maybe, maybe he led like a, a bad operation like Bay of Pigs and people died. Oh, hey, Skit. Saray, when you said they're opposites... Boy, are you thick. Thick Leo. Thick Leo. Hey, I was gonna say, you meant her and Alicia, if you'd let me finish. Forget it. The moment is over. Mickley over. How did my life get to this point? It's not a bad thing for them to contrast <laughs> with each other, just... They've been striving for the same goal, even though their motivations and circumstances are different. Right. Alicia chose to carry out her duty as royalty, even though it hasn't been going as well as she'd hoped. While Maltran never wanted to be a knight, but nevertheless, she's achieved great deeds and earned the respect of the people. In each case, things haven't gone entirely as planned. Perhaps both of them feel that way. Well, that's just a insight between Maltran and uh, her disciple, uh, Alicia. But it is interesting how they how they ended up like that. But the whole the whole part about Maltran's family passing away is a bit interesting. Shouldn't we tell Saray and the others about how useful the lords of the land are? Very. If you keep babying them instead of letting them think for themselves, they're just going to turn into, well, babies. But then again, they do need to know things like how the affected area is predetermined. And how boons increase as you engage in more battles. And also how, if there's a skill you want, you could ask a Norman to increase the enemy drop rate. And not to mention how, as you acquire more boons, the amount of boons you can make effective increases as well. If they knew that much, it'd be plenty. I just want to make sure that, if they wind up in an area with no boons, they know to focus first on restoring the Lord of the Land's blessing to the area. Even if you don't have confidence in your battle abilities, Common sense is common sense, no matter how you cut it. Huh. Interesting. Did you eavesdrop on our conversation? What, is that a crime? Ah, <laughs> oh, McLeo. He's the, uh... What do you call it? Ah, what is it? He's the... He's not the straight guy in the... In a team, what was it called? The straight man, straight guy. <laughs> All right, let's go to bed real quick and see what we can pick up. Doesn't look like anything. Nope, nothing. All right, we tried. So let's talk to Lucas now. We still know about the stones, but we can't really do much about them. Does it say anything about the sub-episodes? Or is there a list somewhere about the shiny stones? System book just tells us about all the stuff we, sh we should know. Discovery points, everything that we've found since then. I kind of want to read all of them, but that'll take time. All the Norman. Uh, fights. At least all the Norman we discovered. And of course, this is the synopsis for everything so far. Right, nothing all that interesting. Let's go, Lucas. Look. I do, I do want to know about that sparkling stone and Boar's Ruins. Alright, let's go. Lucas, I hope you're going to be safe, buddy. Lucas, I'd really like you to seek refuge along with the villagers. Like hell! 
battlefield is where we earn our living. Besides, we just helped rebuild your town here, no? You really want to see Roland's tear it to pieces? I'm just worried about all of you. Hmm. Please. Fine. We'll pull back beyond the Grifflet River. It's a damn shame. We're just gonna abandon this town right when it was getting its punch back? We both know what's really important. Hmm. I can tell I'm no match for this herder of sheep. <laughs> Change of plans, you bums! We're taking the townsfolk to safety, up north across the Grifflet River. Get your preparations in order. Thank you. You'd better get ready yourself. The bridge still isn't fully restored just yet. We'll probably have to go ahead and set up camp by the riverbanks. You got it. What does that do? We're good on our end. What say you, Shepard? Ready to head for the river? Yeah. Let's go. Who, is, who the hell are you? I am Commander General Landon of the Highland Army. Is the Shepherd with you? That's me. You, huh? Does your business with the Shepherd really require so many troops, General Landon? You're that sellsword Lucas of the Shrub Boys, aren't you? Just as well. You listen up, too. I bring word of Lady Alicia. On suspicion of using the Shepherd to foment discord against the state. As well as assisting the Roland's Empire with its invasion, Lady Alicia has been detained. That's nonsense! Alicia would never do such a thing! It is not an arrest, Shepherd, merely an interrogation. Well, this certainly stings to high heaven. <sighs> but if the Shepherd were, say, to wield his power to deliver victory to our troops, it would likely assuage any suspicions we might have. Why you? Yeah. They took her hostage. Saray, let us do as he says. We probably don't have a choice. If Alicia were to die at their hands. Yes. We all know Saray would blame himself for it. And if that were to happen, even someone like Saray could become corrupted by malevolence. That's it, right? If the Shepherd is corrupted by malevolence, it will guide the world to ruin, faster than even war could accomplish. The sooner we end this, the better. We can make this work. After all, you've got us with you. If I fight, do I have your guarantee Alicia will be released? If you bring us victory, then yes. We're coming too. Sorry, but it just ain't in our blood to turn tail and run. We sell swords have built up too much pride in too many battles for that. Very well. But I'm in charge here. You had better not forget that. So then, Shepard, I'll be waiting on the battlefield. Hey, cheer up, buddy. With the woodsman on the job, the Shepard won't even have to lift a finger. Saray, please hold All your right, head you up guys. high. You ready for I told you, didn't I? Battle? You've got us with you. Don't get all stupid gung-ho about this war business, okay? Just do what you need to do to get this crap over with. Thank you, everyone. But should we really be assisting? Oh look, you can just walk past it. Or you can just walk across it now. There's people over there too. Hold on. Let's uh, let's do this real quick. The way of the shepherd. Why are these things happening? And this time, we're against the humans. And it's a war which makes it even worse. Yes. We may hurt people during the process, just trying to get them to stop fighting. That may cause emotional pain for Saray, which in turn may create malevolence. How could that be? If that's true, then the chance of a shepherd not being affected by malevolence is about as small as a pinhole. 
That's what it means to get involved with humans. And that is the way of the Shepherd. If only he could forget about Alicia like a snap of a finger. There's no way he can. I know. No chance. That's exactly why he became a Shepherd, right? Yes. <sighs> I guess I need to prepare myself. I mean, we, we could try to save Alicia from the palace, but then the crimes would just be pinned on her and us. And to Alicia, being the knight, being the princess, is better for Highland because at least she'd be able to counterbalance the rest of the the government. You know, she has some pull in there, even though she's just a knight. Princess is pretty high standing. So breaking her out isn't an option. I don't like that they're using her as a as a hostage though, just to get us into the fight. Um, hold on. Let's let's see this skill lecture. Let's just think about what's happening right now and see if there's other choices or at least a better solution than what we're doing. Today's lesson is about bonus skills triggered by elemental unions. If a group union is vertical, you can say an elemental union is horizontal. Unlike a group union, you can activate an elemental union with as few as two skills, so long as they're placed side by side. Since there's ten groups, does that mean you can put anywhere between two and ten skills together? Yeah. Depending on the number of skills you have lined up, the effects will change. You can even duplicate the same effects if you want. So like, if you have two each of the non-elemental skills, attack and rangus equipped... You'll get two Elemental Union 2 bonus skills, reducing non-elemental damage by 20% instead of 10. Not only that, but you'll get two Stack 2 effects on top of that. But you need to be careful. If you decide to equip just one of the third non-elemental skill, Blued, the bonus skill for Elemental Union 3 will activate, but the two Elemental Union 2 effects will both disappear. So for Elemental Union bonus skills, it first checks the total length of the combo, and then calculates how many of that combo to activate? Yep, bonus skills are beneficial, but you have to really start thinking things through if you want to optimize your strengths. It probably won't end well if you just use different equipment together blindly. So think carefully about what kind of equipment you want to use beforehand. So, could you have an item where all four slots are the same skill in a four stack? Or an item that, just by itself, triggers an Elemental Union 4 bonus? That's right. With proper item fusion and equipment coordination, you can draw out enormous power from skills, far beyond their basic effects. And there's one important announcement to be made. Next week again, huh? This is the last lesson. What? <laughs> Really? Wait. That was the important announcement to be made? That this is the last lesson? Um, you know what? That works for me. What are we at? Three hours? I think just to save on, uh, on time for me, I'm gonna save. And we're gonna, we're gonna cut the video and just start a new one. It's still gonna be the same save, but... We're going to cut real quick. I'll be right back.